Uh, hello everyone, uh, it's WooTBM and Jabroni Tony again with another game, and we got another dev submission this time. Um, we're going pretty blind into this one, I don't really know anything about this. I was just contacted by a message on the forums. Um, and it looks like we finally get to see the uh, 3D mod that we didn't get to see all the way back in Hey Free Heroes. I was, oh, oh yeah. I'll, yeah, you know when, I, when you first showed this... I was like, because we you know we, we hang a little bit before the actual start recording to show for our audience. Uh, I was like, what is this jabroni ass <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, oh, it's a submission. Okay, but uh, that's right. I remember I was like, oh, cool. It has the three D. It has the three D thing. So, yeah. I'm actually uh, curious to see if yeah, to do what hate free heroes failed to do. Yeah, I'm curious to curious to see it. This screenshot in particular seems kind of interesting because it makes it seem like there's camera angles, which is pretty cool. So, hopefully, that means there's like actual eventing and stuff. Uh, Fortunately, it's still RTP or whatever. But, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I guess. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I guess I do. I don't know. I maybe I should warn people. I don't know. I. I kind of been on this like heel turn i mean i guess i, were, I guess we would already consider ourselves heels if we're using yeah. wrestling terminology but we've had a heel turn and we became even more of heels and that uh i don't really want to warn people as much about these reviews anymore it's like i don't know people should know what the format is and expect getting a hard time i uh, believe everyone who we were concerned about didn't know i think in the end we're like oh no I knew what what you guys would do to my game. I think I think it's a hundred percent, right? I don't think a single yeah. person was like, "Wait, what happened?" Either that, or they're just like not even like paying attention. So it's like I can't really. <laughs> that's yeah. That's if anything, that's like, hey, you got, you're not even a true fan of our channel. Like, screw yeah. you, man. We'll make fun of the game even worse. <laughs> yeah, it's like read the, read the title, of the channel. Like, I don't know. You don't have to watch a whole video even. Like, you should get night. It should be pretty obvious what we're about. So if you're just throwing your game out there to whoever then i mean i don't know that shows even more of what we talk about which is like god have some goddamn standards yeah and i mean if you're selling your game because this game costs five dollars or you're putting it on steam or whatever then like you know you're putting it out there to a wide audience you should expect people to be negative anyway like this is part of the creative process is learning to deal with criticism that's true you're, you're never going to be you're going to have to eventually water off the duck's back yeah so I which guess is I, not necessarily a good thing because you shouldn't just ignore good advice but there's a point where yeah it's like if you do what you want to do and it's successful then you just gotta let the haters hate whatever but yeah so i guess I, right I, I i guess i bring that up because i'm looking at this and i'm kind of like uh i don't know about this <laughs> yeah so prepare prepare for some it. uh words mean words the 3D is cool, but already so much base assets. Just yeah. and as we talked about in our in the forum, actually, when someone was defending base assets, we just you know I think you said it, but I agree. You said straight up, look, it just shows that you just didn't put that much effort in. Like, I don't care if you can arguably make a game good with base assets, it just shows you didn't even bother to put in the effort, right? I mean, it just yeah. looks, looks low effort. So. And if it looks low effort, then it's like, you know, we're forced to believe that. The whole thing's going to be low effort because if you don't exactly. put effort here then where else aren't you putting effort where are you going to put it yeah it's not going to be like oh a bunch of base assets but my god the game is just beyond incredible it's like no it's you put low effort here you probably put low effort also maybe that means speaking of wrestling terms that means should i have a, i should have a face turn at some point <laughs> <laughs> You're i really like what the c4 are doing i really support them yeah follow your dreams and we're just going to keep having heel turns where we become more of heels more <laughs> <laughs> They're like, went, these guys are already bad guys. What did they do? Went from just being a regular bad guy to now I'm like burning down your house or like attacking your yes. wife. <laughs> Those type of storylines <laughs> in wrestling. Exactly. But it's very obvious stage because it happens in the middle of a ring. <laughs> for some reason, there's tables under the, the, <laughs> the ring. And for some reason, I only attack your wife while she's standing in the squared circle. And my car fits on the ramp and <laughs> all that stuff. So. And your wife isn't the same one that's on social media. It's, she's been replaced by a wrestler who knows how to take a bump. <laughs> yes, exactly. And she can't see the camera that shows me running <laughs> in, even <laughs> though there's cameras all over. So, and uh, screens all over. Perfect. All right. Maybe uh, one day. Yeah. Maybe 
for April Fool's next year. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do a face turn. We'll do a face turn. We'll review some really bad game from a list that we have. Be like, wow, look how great this is. This is so good. I can tell it calling. <laughs> oh, man. So anyway. It's like someone sort of trying to time, time, their, time their submission to hit our April Fool's. Oh, man. How nice of them, though. Anyway, yeah, let's, let's move on. Yeah. So. I was reading this uh, store page a little bit, and I did kind of want to look at this a little bit. Like, uh, Tales from Echerian began as a small joke game inspired by Dungeons & Dragons campaign. But my ambition didn't allow me to stop there, so I put in the work to make it a full RPG with multiple endings and side quests. Uh, yeah, a lot of this, all resources come from royalty-free RPG Maker commercial free sources, or have been paid for in order to use in a commercial game. Thanks for checking out my newest game. A lot of the stuff I'm just like, I don't know why. Why this shouldn't be in a store page for like a game, right? Like this is just like, hey, it's not a scam game. Like it's like, I don't know. You, you, most like uh, people shopping for games aren't asking the question, like, oh man, I hope this game isn't using stolen assets. <laughs> like you shouldn't have to say no. It's it's good. That's like the RPG maker stigma is like, no, trust me, this isn't a scam game. But that, I mean, maybe it's, he's, you know, self-aware, she, I don't know what Keller Lee is, but, you know, it's funny yeah. because anytime I see this whole, like, oh, I made this whole game based on this random joke, it just gives me flashbacks of some really cringe projects that I've seen. Yeah, but or for, it's, or in my past that I've worked on, not RPG maker, but I don't know, that's a process that I don't think is a good one. It's like, ah, this joke between friends, let's turn it into a full-fledged thing. And it's like, eh. yeah. I'm sure it's been successful, but I don't know. And then, uh, let's go back up a bit. That was the thing I, what is it? Oh yeah, oh, my ambition didn't allow me to stop there. Your ambition should make you move to a real end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think ambition's the right word here. Yeah. I think my motivation or my interest or something. Amb yeah. Ambition's a bit uh using RTP word. can't be that ambitious. So. Yeah. Uh <laughs> let's see. He says he describes it as a short RPG, but then he says it's like six hours, twenty per hours. It's not short. I mean I guess people who play JRPGs want a seventy hour game, but I would say it's a <laughs> pretty decently sized game if that's how long it is. I mean we got a five dollar we're gonna of course go over the value and go over what we think, but we got a five dollar game for free. We've made it. <laughs> oh man, yeah. we're famous. We're we're the greatest RPG major. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever his reviewers are. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I did want to look at. Um, yeah, was this it? Let's see. I also, man, I, it's like, should we just assume? I know, in general, from a statistical standpoint, it's going to be dudes working on it. It's like. But I want to, I always feel bad being just assuming it's always a dude <laughs> in case a woman's making this game. But I don't know. I don't know if I, I want to say, hey, you got to let us know because that's also kind of sexist. <laughs> yeah. But we uh, don't know. Sorry, we're playing the odds here. Sorry, we're not trying to be sexist. We're just going to play the odds. Yeah, I'll just yeah. stick with they, I guess, to be neutral. The they, only thing yeah. I can do is I can look at the their profile count. Does it say? Uh, no. And, you know, it's funny. For the audience before the show, me and Wu Tegan had a big talk about radical wokeism. We're neither of us are particularly conservative either. We're probably both middling, but radical leftism is. Uh, <laughs> and here we are saying they. I know we're not saying it for that reason, but it's just kind of fun. I mean, it's not really radical, anyway. Um, I know, I know. We're saying they because you don't know. Yeah. Okay, uh, fine. I almost did radical. Sorry, I offended someone. Whatever. No, I mean, I guess my, I guess why I was saying that was like using pronouns and just and being upset that your TV show has LGBT people on it. Like none of that's radical. Radical is like blowing up buildings <laughs> for your beliefs. Oh, okay. Fair <laughs> well, uh, anyway, radical left. <laughs> <laughs> well, you and I have a very different different definition. Anyway, oh no, I'm kidding. I see your point. Anyway, yeah. um, yes. Uh, because it is weird to say it is weird, but yeah. Yeah, because it's plural, but I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, so I thought I remember reading, maybe I got confused with some other project. I thought I remember reading like something talking about, oh, I've made a lot of games and I hope something, something about it. And I was like, oh, you've made a lot of games. And I guess I am partially right. They have a number of games on here. 
Uh, so I hope to see some growth from, you know, making games. I It's kind of funny. We I always kind of say these two things that are kind of contrary, but, you know, not really. Like, get your game out, finish it, but also, like, you know, you should be trying new things. Like, improve upon. Yeah, improve upon. Like, don't... It, it, it... It is true. Like you did mention, it's if I mean, if as a hobbyist, whatever, and I guess we sell games for cheap. But yeah, there's a kind of a thing if you just keep pumping out like very basic RTP heavy asset games, and you actually want to become a serious developer, it's just it's never gonna work if that's all you do. You know, it's all there's to. Yeah, I just I don't know. I just I don't <laughs> I don't see the point of playing a game if it's just gonna be the same thing over and over again. I want to see like new ideas and new things you know yeah for sure all right i think that's all we have to say about this thing so let's get started with the actual game then the game all right here we are and look at this it's in 16 by 9 hooray uh, 2023 has arrived yeah he doesn't know we're in october oh this does have was it doesn't say that it has was but it does I'm scrolling back on with 3d squarey land like octopath or whatever it is yeah that's that's interesting a, a title screen that does stuff i think yeah, it's like just loading a around the background yeah it's just like loading a level and then like uh then it just has text on the screen i guess i don't know i don't know i haven't really messed around with title screens because i guess that's the thing that i'm kind of uh lazy about i don't care it's like <laughs> just press start and play the game <laughs> sure um i will say i am a little bit okay. i don't want to say necessarily impressed because my my expectation was so low but pleasantly surprised at the quality of the style screen having yeah. the scrolling background and that person walking around actually adds a nice touch <laughs> the face turn it's happening <laughs> <laughs> No. So, what happens if I turn up this render distance and this shadow quality to high? Did you start the volume at... Did you set the volume before we started? Or was yeah. it the default? Oh, okay. It was actually at 40, though, so I didn't lower it that oh, much. That's good. Um, but yeah, it's good that it didn't blow our ears out, at least. When I started up, yes. it wasn't a, it wasn't too loud. But for the purposes of this video, I turned it down for mixing. Yeah. Um, so that's good, especially after whatever that last game was that blew our ears out. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to do this new thing where I use the controller. I hope that's okay, just because I realized that that would be more comfortable. Sure. I'm interested to see how this, because I know this engine is like, or this plugin with the 3D is not like well optimized, especially after just doing Battle Chasers and Sea of Stars. You can see that my computer can run you know, games that look much better than RPG Maker, just fine. <laughs> so if yeah. I have performance issues, it's like, damn. I mean, Bad I will say my own project has fucking performance issues, which is oh, just, no. which is annoying. Plugins? Is it the plugins? Plug it's the, it's the plugins for me. I maybe I can figure something out somewhere. Mostly that frame drop that happens. Uh, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't happen here, but I'm wondering if by turning up those settings all the way, if it's going to perform like crap. We'll see. So. Anyway, let's just hit start here. Cushing! Um, um, there are many tales to be told from the world of Atruian. Here is one of them. Oh. Isn't this game Atrulon, wasn't it? An L on an I? Uh, no, it's yeah. always been. I mean, yeah, that's three, three, three vowels in a row is very. Uh, difficult for English, I would say. Was well, like a Truian? Yeah. That's an actual. Okay. Well, here. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. You can also select things with the mouse, which is capitalized. Is this person German? <laughs> the mouse? The mouse? Do you want to keep the text sound on? Sure, why not? This game contains areas that you will not be able to easily return to. Be sure to explore as much as you wish before moving on. Remember to save the game often. Oh, man. Come on. Well, okay. But are you going to communicate to me? Us? Well, like, is it... Okay, so the problem with this is usually a design problem. Like, 
yeah. if you if you want players to feel like they can fully explore the area before they move on, you need to master like visually communicating or just forcefully with text be like, Hey, yes. you're gonna leave this area now, but I think I would prefer like you know, a visual cue to make it obvious that like Oh, I'm leaving this area because that's always the thing that's annoying in a game, right? So Drives me crazy in the yeah. RPGs. Breath of Fire, Capcom series that does that so poorly. I'm like, I want to explore everything. Oh my god, a cinematic! God damn it! Yeah, you take one wrong step, and like, I had no idea. Uh, horrible design, yeah. So yeah, that's that's more about like, you know, visual flow. So yep. I agree. I agree completely. There's ways to do it without beating your head over it, but also as a last resort, just straight up beating your head over it is fine. Yeah, I would, I would take that. Yeah, I'm fine with that too. Just you are about it. to continue the game. Do you want to continue? Yeah. Yeah. One month ago, all capitalized again. Our hero is awakened <laughs> to find continue. themselves on board a large sh shipping vessel in the middle of the ocean. It's not spaced out fully so, in a way yeah. that makes sense. Uh, confused and eager, they notice a dark-haired man standing before them. The mysterious man walks forward, walks towards them with an intense aura. Rick James? So I uh, that's, a, that's a Chappelle Show reference. Anyway. <laughs> we always ask this question, is, is this a comedy game? I didn't comment on that opening that said, like, we of all the stories, do. this is one of them. I'm like, I'm, I, it makes me think it's a comedy game because that sounds like a comedy line. Yes, that's the. This is a moment of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like you are all awake. I mean, I wouldn't comment that his hair's dark. I would say he has a bunch of fucking scars on his face. I think is the more <laughs> noticeable feature about him. A W on his face. Perhaps I should introduce myself. Chakul. Oh, camera. I am the Thaddeus, Captain Thaddeus Bone. Bone. About to go by T Bone. Okay, uh, sounds like a wow. com comedy game. Yeah. I have. Oh, look at these camera movements. Impressive. Nice. It's such a shame that the RTP assets are so local. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I guess there's no way to texture. I guess I don't know how the mod works, but the no texture on the ceiling makes me think it's like Wolfenstein, you know? I was the exact same thing. This Brian Day Wolfenstein. Uh, I have gathered you all here from many different lands from for a very specific reason. Specific. Oh, was it spelled wrong? Uh, yeah, I think it was an extra eye. Whoops. Got busted. Atruian needs your help. I chose you all because you have very special and powerful skills that can help us in the battles yet to come. I just realized they're all standing over coffins. Are they all vampires? Yeah, I was like, it looked like mats for a second. I guess it is coffin, flat coffin. This is like 3D mod isn't really helping here. Yeah. And also, I mean, I assume it's because those are like objects and it can only make squares, square terrain tiles that have yeah. different heights. And also, Which you'll have very unique personalities. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's another... Uh, Wolfenstein comparison because that game is all yeah. all boxes and right angles. There's no yep. diagonal shapes. But that game was also made 30 years. Ago. <laughs> yeah, it was made in what 1991 or something. Something. And then then they made this Doom, is... which was like insanely better. Yep. Uh, yeah, they improved. <laughs> <laughs> what a concept. And now it's been 25, 30 years, and 3D engines are actually 3d and do all sorts of crazy stuff so yep. i guess i guess this is the part where you i don't know show our hand of saying like um i guess for me i've been kind of noticing people using this 3d mod and it kind of seems like the community's like whoa 3d this is so cool like it's the new gimmick that people are doing yeah and i i just i don't care like yeah. <laughs> like this presentation it's it's different but like it's not going to make the game good or bad so you still need to have effort in terms of game design and stuff yeah it's still it's still like a band-aid over a gaping wound style of improvements yeah it's well yeah it's it's good for an rpg maker but that's you know that's like saying having a pencil is better than not having a, than just your hands in a war with <laughs> artillery right i don't know it's like it's like it's such a it's such a, a minor improvement on such a primitive thing that yeah 
when you know full 3D games are the norm now. So yeah, I honestly am unsure how to explain some of you. Yeah, the shark guy. What's he's okay? That seems like a comedy game. Yeah, but you may be Atrurian's last hope, as evil forces may have appeared in our land. I will say I appreciate that the comedy so far isn't trying super hard. I yes, I was just gonna say that. Yeah, it's not. Fringes, yeah. The Barkanid Empire has made its move and is planning to take over Atrurian with the power of the demonic forces of the other world. Other world, it's Mortal Kombat. Right? Is that what it's called? Out, outworld, outworld. Ah, what's other world? I know it's close. Shit. Other worlds? Abe's Odyssey? I don't know. No, that's Other Worlds. Outer Worlds? I don't know the game. <laughs> We would normally be able to fend off the Barkanids easily, but the Empire has joined forces with the time-controlling Chronomancer and his companion, the Black Knight. These two joining forces with the Barkanid Empire has made them a power we cannot fend off for much longer. The Chronomancer and the Black Knight must be defeated. It's random commas. Something random commas. Unnecessary. I guess for dramatic... Captain T-Bone, up on deck. What is it, sailor? Out on the sea. I always have that reaction when I see, like, lots of punctuation, like, question mark and exclamation point. Like, what is what is the delivery of this line? Yeah. You have to comically deliver it just to make it even remotely what they're intending. <laughs> Our dark figure has appeared. Is it the black man? It's heading it's right heading for us. us. Yeah, I guess my impression of, like, question mark, exclamation point is, like, wacky, oh, like, yeah. hijinks. Ooh, la, 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 la. Like, Tim Allen from Tool Time. Or Home Improvement. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's definitely, like, a comedy delivery. I mean, I assume what yeah. they're, maybe what they were going for was, like, okay, exclamation point is shouting, and question mark is question, so it's shouting a question. So there you go. Yes, but, that's exactly yeah, I don't know, that's not necessarily how I, I, <laughs> I read it, because it's not, like, grammatically correct. Yeah. Um, a dark figure. A black oh, knight. Oh. oh, how convenient. He showed up. He just came to us. Come oh, heroes. To the top deck. But if we're all level one, I guess we're just going to die. <laughs> we're sailing. T-bone ship deck. Whoa. Oh, what is that? I can't make it for that figure out there. It's standing right on top of the water. It's a shame he doesn't have a better fence uh, asset, but uh, I do like <laughs> the figure in the distance. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But how? Oh no! It can't be! It's... It's... The Black Knight! Yeah, hey, I called it, because it's a dark figure. Oh, he's riding just... Out he's water. gigantic and riding a horse on the water? I'm gonna hope there's an explanation for that, and it's not just bad uh, asset usage. He's charging right at us. What if I wait? Okay, that's what I thought would happen. <laughs> Everyone! Brace yourselves! Oh my god, he's so powerful. Well, I guess we're dead. Mm. Oh, those those particle sprites. Oh, so ugly. Yeah, so and RTP sounds are... Awful yeah. too. After the ship was destroyed by the Black Knight, our heroes found themselves washed up on a nearby Atrurian town's shore. Oh, now it's reminding me of a Larian game. They always start the games on a fucking island. <laughs> uh, Captain T-Bone was nowhere to be found. That's how they haven't been destroyed by the world-ending thingy yet. <laughs> <laughs> on some island. Alone in this new world, our heroes decide to join together and attempt to save Atrurian from the evil forces that they they now decide that? All right. That the captain can inform them about. One month ago, our story preludes. <laughs> is that is that I'm like thinking of that proper usage. Yeah, it's awkward. prelude. Is I, that a verb? I yeah. assume I assume he didn't want to use like a present tense or something because it's still in the past or something. Yeah. Uh, so we're doing this again though, where we start the game and then flashback a few minutes later. It's like with Star Ocean, whatever. See the stars <laughs> you didn't like. Yeah. Uh, 
party leader? Oh, okay. Does that matter? Why does that matter, though? Oh my gosh. Son of Fishman. Dayman? Okay, you just have, like, uh, reference. Jam what? Hamwise Gamgees? N no. Oh, Hamwise? Oh, I see. Reference yeah. to Samwise Gamgee. Reference yeah. to Always Sunny. Dayman! Serious. I mean, I guess no. that does make it seem like, uh... I mean, Hamwise, if he's anything like Samwise, and he's OP, right? <laughs> oh, is this the six endings they talked about? Oh! The... Is that what this is? Alright. Uh, Dayman, I don't know. Maybe I'll play Dracula. Dracula's always a good choice. Dracula's always a good choice. Oh, it tells us, okay. Warlock, neutral good. Oh, now, okay, so now I'm going to pick purely really based on alignment. Once a lawful paladin turned into a dark vampire, was dead by an evil vampire. He maintained his paladin manors. Manors? Uh, like his house? Like yeah. the, his manor's house? <laughs> ah, damn, he's, rich. he's got multiple houses. Yep. <laughs> paladin houses. I'm going to yeah. assume that's a misuse. Yeah, it's supposed to be M A N N E R manors. Yep. Uh, Correct. But now has a mysterious thirst for blood. What do you mean mysterious? You said he's a vampire. Yeah, he hopes, this is mysterious. <laughs> he hopes someday to defeat the vampire who killed his master and turn him to what is he is today. Wouldn't that just kill him, though? Uh, all right, so I'm going to go through these. Go through each? Oh, my gosh. All right. I'm, I'm going to skip video. them, though, because oh, okay. lawful good. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. I just care about the Shire. Come on. Yeah. Uh, I'm just looking at alignment. I want someone that's, like, chaotic neutral or something. All right. Or evil. Let's see. Lawful neutral. Uh, yet, he must defeat the Nightman, right? No. Chaotic good? Uh, I guess that's something. Such as missing father? Son of Fishman? Ah, that's a joke. Not Fishman is his father. He is father of the son of Fishman. Oh, I wasn't even reading that. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, here we go. Chaotic neutral. But he's barbarian. Ugh. I mean, that might be good because... Lover of Valor? That's How does... chaotic neutral. How is this chaotic neutral? For animals? I always take time to neutral. This doesn't sound very chaotic neutral to me. <laughs> like, he needs to be like... Want money. Oh, neutral evil. Here we go. He's a tiefling. Oh, but he's a bard. He has his own solitude and look from the shadows. Oh, is his handy? Oh, Dulcimer to play a fun tune. Um, I don't want to play a bard because I don't want to get bamboozled right. playing the you character do. with, with yeah. questionable game design. Uh, or class design. I'll just play this guy because he auto attacks, I guess. And he's kind of <laughs> neutral. That's what it said, right? Chaotic neutral? I'm not... Okay. This description doesn't sound like chaotic neutral to me, but... <laughs> uh, we'll go with it. Uh, my whole thing... To not get in too much of a spiel is I think that the alignment system in D&D is kind of stupid and doesn't make sense for like how actual humans behave. Sure. Um, chaotic neutral is the one that gives you the flexibility to have an actual like character. Cause usually in like, a story, like characters have like arcs and like learn things and you know the alignment charts kind of lock you into behaving one particular way that is true you know D, &D games are what they started doing i think is you can do things you'll change alignment <laughs> yeah. if you're a bad boy oh now we get a, now we get a text scroll May, uh, is this a comedy game thing okay the calm before the storm the Cyrene league and the bark empire have been at war for some time now both powerful nations have inflicted heavy losses to one another, and their tension has reached a breaking point. Recently, the Barkanid Empire procured the forces of the Carnomancer and the Black Knight, which gave the Empire the upper hand. The Carnomancer and his companion, the Black Knight, are two very powerful forces in Aturian. In order to challenge the Empire's increased strength, Lord Orion Cyrus has summoned his six arrows procured by Captain Thaddeus T-Bone 
to join his side. The Empire plans to attack tomorrow morning by crossing the cleaved fields and arriving at Cyropolis's gates. Cyropolis? Tonight, I, yeah, Cyrene League, know, along with our heroes, prepare for battle. Cyropolis. Cyropolis? Your characters are supposed to be strong because they got purposely picked as the six heroes to fight this, but they're okay. also probably going to be level one. <laughs> yeah, that's my guess. I mean, I guess you could argue, like, oh, they were injured by the crash or something. And now they're level one. You know, sometimes games do that. Yeah. It's like do. some some flimsy reason that your characters are yeah. level one. You hit uh, your head really hard and forgot what you're saying. Yeah. Hyropolis, what does it say that for? Alternatively, you can use the mouse. I can use the controller, too. So far, you haven't said that I can't use the controller, so I'm going to assume I can use the controller. Oh, I didn't think Main the trees quest, work like this. the game. Oh, yeah. Defeat the evil power. Oh, you're soul level. Oh, let's save because that was a long entrance. We were, and we were told to save off. Oh, yeah, we were, weren't we? Oh, level five. Look at that. We're so pro. No, super strong. Super, super quest. strong. It is interesting that quest is all the way down here and not up here. You're assuming I'm going to use... I guess this is design flow things, right? Like, hmm. assume that the top thing is the thing you're going to use the most, right? So yeah, I, I the would bottom thing is the one I've used the most. Game end. <laughs> <laughs> Get me out of here. But, uh, yeah. I would, so I would probably put quest at the top. And, I mean, maybe. I don't know how item heavy the game is. Maybe it is right to put this here, but we'll see. Uh, skills. I guess I can read his skills. Allies aim and hit rate for the duration of the battle. Oh boy, hit rate, huh? Come so enraged, you go berserk and attack with extra strength, but less control. Uh oh, I chose the wrong fucking class. Hey, um, is, is there T? There's TP. There better be some use for it, or more mark in this game down for technical. Oh, TP, but there's no use for it. So what far, is, I mean, well, what's this? Is this TP? What does this mean? I hope so for this developer's sake. <laughs> <laughs> attack one target wildly, deals way more damage, but can mit Oh damn it! It's this type of character. Fuck. You <sighs> fool. I'm a fool! I don't want to play a character who has this dumb, like, <laughs> oh, they do more damage, but they miss more often. Ugh. All or nothing, yeah. I mean, I'd much rather, like, do more damage, but, like, it lowers your defenses or something. Yeah. I I don't know. I guess that's D&D. &D. There's a lot of missing in D&D. &D. Um, yeah. But there's also a lot of, uh, like, ways you can usually correct it with, like, perks and stuff to get plus ones to hit and stuff, right? Like... Most CRPGs uh, have something like that, right? To a degree, but it depends on the edition, but, you know. Yeah. Or low levels in earlier editions, especially, but even later editions, you sometimes, it's like, you can put as much as you can, there's really, really not much you can do. Yeah. It's like equipment you'll eventually get, is that fixes, what, is what mostly fixes it? Yeah, but the reason I bring that up is because, oh, I guess that's a problem with the plugin. Um... Mm -hmm is that by default RPG Maker's hit system, chance to hit system is extremely garbage. Um, mm -hmm. Doesn't let you control anything, basically. Uh, so I'm assuming that it's not going to be itemized in any way, because that's not something you can do with the default RPG Maker very well. Sure. Why am I talking to this person? Oh, wow, this person is, like, very slow. Uh, There's a quest. Yeah, quest. Oh, look at this house has... Diagonal roof here. Oh, that's not okay. I thought that was a mission board. Whoa, camera movement. Whoa. Hey, everyone else is inside already. We have tonight to prepare. Gather all the information you can. Oh yeah, you know what to do. Find the electro bard. Quests can be viewed in the menu. Yes, you're correct. Quests are acquired by speaking with specific characters and performing them. Yep. Yeah, okay. You can view the current objectives for all active quests. Completing all of the quest objectives... Uh, should probably be possessive there. Quests objectives will grant you the rewards shown. Yeah. The main story quest objectives, as well as side quest objectives and all information... I don't need to like be told this. I'll see you inside. Oh good, you corrected the camera. I was worried. I'm worried at some point... I guess that's with any game that has heavy eventing. As, uh, <laughs> If you don't remember to reset things, there are problems. Like if you make the character invisible, it's like, whoops, invisible for the whole game. <laughs> well, 
So this is kind of, right. this is kind of a weird like story flow. Are it's you like we crashed on an island. Anything? We crashed on an island, but it's like now it's just like okay, just talk to them and get your party back. Yeah, yeah. Why are they? Just, why are you just already a party? So yeah. nasty about my past. <laughs> I don't like to talk about it. You want to defeat the nightman? I already know what your story is. Defeat uh, the evil look the dark man. The music in this game so far is pretty cool. I don't know what it's what music. I'm assuming it's a stock music pack. But... It's not stolen though. Yeah. According to the game industry. Yeah, oh yeah. The you. important thing, it's not stolen. Oh, you're the electric one. No. You're the one. Oh yeah, over the quest. Welcome to our humble gathering. This face is kind of funky. <laughs> <laughs> What's with the changing of the size of the box? I guess it's not terrible. Of the text box? Yeah. Huh. The inn, this inn was so gracious enough to let us use their dinner hall for us to gather and plan our moves for the battle ahead. You do know what is in store for us tomorrow, right? Are we gonna... F yeah. I don't really know. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Now he's gonna talk more. Well, that makes sense. You haven't been here long. Let me explain our base plan for tomorrow's battle. Uh, Mark is attacking the middle of the day as they're not known as early risers, so... We shall be there early morning to try and catch them off guard. I mean, why not get them even earlier to kill them in their sleep? Uh, we'll all begin there. I guess we're good guys. You and your other friends will help us fend off the Barkanids. I believe you are next generation of heroes in Aturian, as I and my old mates were in the past. In fact, my old mate Strider is here to help us with our plan. Oh man. Strider dude? We could have fucking uh, Aragorn in our party and Samwise Gamgee. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Strider may be able to help give you some tips in fighting. Oh, the music didn't loop perfectly. Whoops. Oof. Why don't you go over and introduce yourselves to him? He's right over there at the table. That camera is like... I know there's an option you can turn off. It seems kind of necessary in general. It's, it's like it's super gimmick to zoom in. Oh, I don't think that... I don't think that actually... Uh, is what that's referring to. I think that's some combat thing. Uh, oh yeah, it's a combat camera. Yeah, I'm waiting to see how obnoxious the camera, uh, <laughs> how obnoxious the, yeah, I guess camera stuff, because it'll like zoom in and like scroll and do sh crazy shit while we do yeah. moves. It'll be like, uh, I'm guess it might be like um, Mr. Orc's game where it's like, wow, look how cool these animations are. It's like just a basic attack. It's like, okay, calm down. <laughs> yep. Ah, so you're the ones Val keeps talking about. Val Allen, otherwise known as the Electra Bard. Is that supposed to be like Val Holland? Like, uh, oh, the guy from Justice Friends from fucking Dexter's Lab? Who's a parody <laughs> of another guy? Yeah. Van Halen. He's never let me down before. Oh, nice. No different. You, you better be able to live up to the names you've made for yourself. You've made names for us? Yeah, it's news to me. Or else we'll. We are straight up screwed. I mean, I feel like we're pretty straight up screwed. That guy just destroyed an entire boat. He's like the size Shit. of a fucking building. Still screwed. Yeah, we're definitely screwed. My name is Strider. I am one of the legendary heroes of old. I mean, if you're still alive, you're not really a legend now, are you? I don't know. <laughs> um, it's like a living legend or something, right? Um, Val tells me you have been building quite the reputation at Truian. I wish I could take him for his word, but this battle has stressed me out! I need to know you are the real deal. Go! Gather the other heroes in your team and come meet me on the stage. I'll need to... Okay. You're just doing tutorial shit, so I'm just going to start skipping this, yeah. this fucking I'll tutorial. I will say, yeah, those are things you want. Like, this isn't really the combat. story at this point, right? Like, it's just... Click on, guys. I'm a person. Yeah. I'm going to help your team. Let's go. Okay, yeah. Wait, is there a choice I'm making, or am I just clicking I think all just the... just mashing X. Let's go for it, yeah. Is, is this really necessary? Yeah. I don't know if it matters what order I click them on, click on them, or not. It's also this the alignment in this party is a lot. Some in-party fights. Yeah. I suppose I could join you for a quick battle. Let's go. 
I mean, I suppose I could do my job. I yeah, suppose I suppose I could, I could play the do game. The thing I was oh, this is actually kind of surprising. I'm learning things about this mod because I have not really done anything with it. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's actually like. Okay. I think you're missing one. Yeah, you have five right now. Oh, it's the, it's the guy in the front day, day mare or whatever. Oh, day man. all right. Wait, am I missing a dash oh, button? How do I dash? Oh, there we go. I am missing a dash button. Not like talk about it. All right, cool. All right, I wasn't going to. Yep, you're so going to fight Nightman. I got it. I see you gathered your entire team. Now, let's see what you got. Battle time. Oh, this music isn't as exciting as I thought it would be. Huh. Hey! Galassius. It's almost, it's almost Galassius. Mordon. Come up here for a minute. Doop, 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 doop. Alright. Let us have a friendly sparring match. I hope somebody dies in this sparring match. That would be peak comedy. Uh, oh gosh. Oh. Right. Okay, yes. I don't know why the screen made it harder. I'm like, wait a minute, I know how to play an RPG. Why am I getting thrown off by this? It almost feels like this is making it more complicated than it is. Yes, it's, yeah. It's, you can skip turns, then you can do order if you want manually. That's the only thing I'm taking away outside of the normal stuff. Yeah, why am, I allowed, why am I allowed to skip my turn? Why would I ever want to do that? My guess is it just means turn order. If you still get your turn, you just want to do a different order. Uh, it's just we'll maybe the not best terminology, but yeah, we'll find out. Well, again. remember, there was that problem when you played um, one of my early prototypes, and you were, like, pressing left and right, and, like, it fucking skipped their turns, and I was like, oh, whoops. That was because, <laughs> of, a, that was because of a plug-in feature that I'd forgotten. Uh -huh. I just, it was just part of a plug-in just so it's turned on by default yeah. and I just turned it off so um, maybe there's some strategic reason you think people should be able to skip their turn even though you have a guard command it looks like um, yeah I mean considering it's part of the tutorial means that they left it in and hopefully it you know they put it in as an intentional use hopefully but and not like I don't know how to fix this issue so I'm gonna leave it in and put it in a tutorial so people don't accidentally do it I thought it was stupid yeah because I mean my advice would be fucking turn it off it sucks yeah because <laughs> i turned it off i was like whoops that's not good i have an <laughs> intentional turn order i want you to use i don't want you to skip your turn accidentally yep. all right you will encounter battles in the war to come to defeat the enemy i don't know why am i reading why am i reading this yeah or go 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 right battle screen initiative order yep yep i know what that is i always let you choose to fight or run from the battle will it because escape is grayed out in the <laughs> screenshot so I assume I won't be able to always be able to escape. Just pressing right will skip the current character's turn. Why? Reduce the enemy's HP to zero to win the battle. Oh my god, really? Yeah, yeah. A gam a gamavior. Go gamavor. <laughs> gamavor. <laughs> Gamia bear. <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, it's pretty cool that we have a six-person party. I don't know how he managed that. <laughs> Why am I? Oh, I'm controlling this guy. Yeah, ball the All I can do is attack. Tutorial. Oh my god. Alright. Holding A. I'm holding space bar. Oh, now I get spells? Okay. For Dracula. Nice. Damage the enemies. Why am I reading this? I'm such a I'm such an idiot. I have this problem where I always read things. Yeah, you fool. Oh, Play I, said like get, me. I said I'll get SP back if I guard those. That's cool. Spells. Heldrich Blast. Why isn't it cost zero? Isn't it a cantrip in D and D? I think it is. Right? Non-elemental magic damage. Oh my god, these are D and D moves. Hell, it be. Laser. All right, looks like uh, there's no TP usage, which is again now got to mark him down for laziness. Oh yeah, the TP is not here. Yeah. Uh, base well, let's try. Well, wait. This is what, is what this? happens when you just all use base assets, just lazy. What does this gold thing mean? Is it not TP? I mean, I imagine if it is. And I'm like, whoopsies, well, I apologize. How come I can cast this one, but I can't cast these? I What? Maybe. 
uh, I'll say different only to certain people, but there's no one that doesn't show who the yeah. And there's no one to be. there's no one to revive. So if any of them I shouldn't be able to use, it should be this one. Heal them with a hundred percent of their HP. That's pretty. Oh, you know I just noticed there's a thing and let me use the mouse. It's this. It's a two here. That's what this is. Yeah, that's, is that quote? I don't know. If that's that's not that's a party points. Yeah, like it's a like party. A, system, yeah, so yeah. I don't know what TP. And it, you can't even see TP on your character's screen, so I don't think it's used because it would be visible here, not right now. So I just use Magic Missile, and that costs nothing. But Magic Missile is a level one spell, so it should cost I something. Ah, Magic Missile. D and D. Yep. And then everyone's got to sleep to get all their stuff back. And he has magic. Oh man, overlapping skills. Wow, I have a shit ton of skills. The ice storm. There's three people. Yeah. Do a AOE thingy. Sure. It's interesting that's not prompting me to pick a target. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I just never said. Why is it? Yeah. So. Target to sleep. Darkness. Blind to what? So in in Dungeons and Dragons, you have spell slots, and you can only use each spell a certain number of times. Yes. But in RPG Maker, you have mana, so right. you can choose to use that mana however you want. So why would I blind somebody when I can do these other things, right? Because in Dungeons and Dragons, the reason why you don't always use the same spell over and over, and over again is because you can't, because you only yeah. have so many spell slots for that spell. So. Um, you know, your, your tuning of your game here needs probably needs some work. I mean, I haven't really thought about the actual balance of these skills, but yeah, just we have judging we have offhand, that. looking at what they do, I'm assume I, I'm pretty sure that other ones are going to be better than others. So I'm just going to use those. Always use those. Yeah. Oh. Also, I like how, I like how you said you may have noticed that some skills didn't. It's like no, we didn't because we didn't choose any of the skills that don't work on back row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah and I chose that one and it worked on the back row. This yeah. One, I mean, I do want to read this because I feel like every time I play a game with this kind of half-assed positioning system, it never makes yeah. fucking sense to me. Probably so, like half damage for so, melee attacks. Yeah. We'll, my see, guess. we'll see how this works. Positioning is oh. also very important in battles. Depending on your row, certain skills and attacks will be unusable. Additionally, enemies in the back row are too far to be struck with normal attacks. The first two rows in the position are able to attack normally, while the back row can only use ranged weapons and skills. The first row also gains abilities as well as a small AGI boost. Why are you calling it AGI instead of initiative? Uh, you can... Just get stat to stat, like strength AGI. Well, like, he's, caught, he's used the term initiative before, oh, so has, why isn't okay. he calling it initiative now? Um... You can move your characters freely between rows in battle, but it will take one turn to move. Outside of battle, you can... Yeah. My guess is agility affects initiative, but it is not initiative. <laughs> is my guess. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it might be that agility is sometimes used in damage formulas, is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Um, so it does both. Um, soon, you'll be moving around like a Kaito lizard monkey. Is that a D&D &D thing? I was one. I don't know. He said that outside too. I have no idea. Also, by the way, check the levels. Look, I think the music is really loud. So. Oh, uh, the levels look okay. All right, you trust the levels. Trust the levels. Trust the levels. Um, steel. Oh no. Oh my God, this is just all D and D moves. Like oh I always get I always get anxiety when I see steel usable in combat because it makes me think that there's going to be some JRPG like. Oh, you gotta keep stealing from this guy to get the super item type of deal. It's very possible. In fact, it's probable. Attack the target with fire damage. Shocking grasp. So I shouldn't be able to use this, right? On. Okay. Was that? Oh, the I, on the back row, row right? Yeah, so yeah, I back row. At least on the back row. Well, it said it said normal attack, so it may not even treat that as a melee attack. It might actually mean just normal attack. Only like your your normal attack is melee, quote unquote, but your melee spells are not considered melee. Yeah, that's kind of. I think that's what needs to be clarified here. Like, you should just use words like ranged and melee, and just say like, yeah, the back row 
can only use ranged attacks and can only be hit by ranged attacks, something like that. And then each yes. of these skills needs to say whether they're ranged or melee. Agreed. Because now, I, I mean, I guess I could assume that Wild Strike, this guy being a warrior, it makes sense, but at some point I'm probably going to run into some situation where it might not make sense. And of course that missed. Um, so I don't know if I'll ever use that skill again. Is the one it was that wild? I missed the wild strike. Was that yeah, the, it was the reckless one yeah. that has a high chance to miss. I don't know what that chance is, so. Yep. Is it thirty? Is it seven? Yeah, if it's like fucking five percent chance to hit, I'm like, oh my god. Uh. So like spells, I guess, are a good thing, right? Empiric touch. Okay, so this is a touch spell, so I assume that means it's melee, and it seems like it is. Uh. Fear? Fear is ranged. Okay. So I guess using D&D &D knowledge, I can kind of figure out, like, what is melee and what's uh, ranged, but I don't know if that's wise. Like, I agree. It's not one of those D&D. Some are, you know, in the name shocking grasp, like, grab, right? Some yeah. could argue vamp touch, but yeah, trusting people with no D&D skills is definitely not good for <laughs> uh assuming like assuming that that that's that's how you'd expect them to know what it does it's not yeah. good. healing word enhance this guy's a healer i guess i wasn't paying attention to this class <laughs> protection from poison uh magic missile i guess it doesn't cost anything One more thing, I know you have great group cohesion. You can use that group cohesion in your favor during battle. That's the uh, yellow board on the screen. Ah, oh, yes. Oh. Special abilities gouage. This gouage allows you to use unique special abilities for each character. The, man, okay, yeah, so it's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's... Yeah, it's just an odd spell. It. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's AU, Google. not UA. <laughs> Literally Google. Literally dictionary.com. I guess we'll give that I'll give that advice I always give, which is, you know, write your text out first into some sort of word processor. You can just use Google Docs or something that has spell yep. check. And then paste it in. So that way you don't five dollars for this. Well no, it's free. The game. Oh for no, the, the game. game. Oh for the game. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Five dollars for this game. Yeah, that's why I suggest the Google Docs. I mean, you don't have to use Google if you don't like Google for some reason, like their data sharing or whatever. But uh, you know, something. I don't know why Basic people type things. Yeah, I don't know why people. Kind of, uh, yeah. I don't know why people type things out manually in the fucking game. Just type it into a word processor that has spell check, and then copy paste it in. Yeah. Oh, they're fighting now. What? Why are they moving forward? Wait, how I much? Say it's between rows. Why are there so many fucking rows? Um, I don't. Are we supposed to kill them? They're full heal, right? They keep full healing, so I'm like, I wish I didn't waste my mana. Oh, five turns. Hideous laughter. Musically. Allies, oh. A L L I E S. Yeah, music. You should be musically. It should be an A in there. And allies is spelled wrong. Oh my god, why? All right. Oh my god, $5 for this. Awfully hideous laughter. Awful, Awful is also not spelled correctly. It's also spelled wrong, yeah. Vicious mockery. Uh, This one. Why not? Whatever. I don't know why I'm thinking. I assume this is a. Auto win. Auto win. Um. I guess that's not. I was going to say something about that spell not using a screen effect and hitting each person individually, but <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. It's it's a performance thing that you could potentially have lag if you have uh, too many animations playing on too many characters at once. You might consider changing that to a screen effect so it only plays one animation. Um, stealth, evasion. Oh yeah, because stealth is a weird fucking skill to have in RPG Maker. Yep. Uh. I guess people didn't have spells for it, now they do. I wasn't like paying attention. I feel like I'm seeing new things. I don't Can know I if use you check some spells in area one? I'm gonna use my this on myself. 
so that way I can hit things. Oh no, they're hitting us now. Uh, what? Oops. Escape the battle. Yes. Multi slash. Uh, bat form like Alucard from Symphony Let's, Let's go. Try to murder somebody. Let's do it. Yes. Wow. That Kill. Was really That's thirty-seven damage. That's way more than you've been doing. All right, so I have to kill each one of them. That's uh, so much damage. Wait, this person gets a turn again? Didn't he just go? Earth Tremor. I'm going to laugh if this fight doesn't give me my mana back or I don't have an opportunity to rest and I'm like blasting <laughs> all my mana yeah. on these guys. I have a lot of hit points for just starting out. Indeed. Yeah, that one dude you took 37 though. Whatever you did, that did 37 damage. That was way more than everything else you could do. Oh, I see. Bonus attack. Okay. Massive damage. I like massive damage. Yeah. There it is. Oh, oh, it's, oh, I just had to kill him. Okay. What? Drinking yourselves into a stupor? Aren't you supposed to be f helping us fight? Yeah. Are we the only ones fighting? Because we're the heroes of the game. thought there was supposed to be a big-ass battle. Seems pretty reckless to show up to battle with a hangover. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Uh-huh. Comrades? Doesn't that have an E at the end? It does. They are strong warriors. I'm glad to fight alongside them. E I, before kinda... the... I know what you're saying, but so the audience doesn't go, what? E before the S, yes. Yeah. Um, I was kind of skipping this text because uh, it's, 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 you know, feeling redundant in terms of story. Yes. It's like, we're, we're going to go it's... to a battle. Like, I got it. Man, yeah. This is... Uh, who helps yeah, this is... That kind of like we talked about in the Sea of Stars episode, the whole. And they're talking a lot, of saying the same thing over and over. Yeah. Kind of, just, we already know what's going in. My name is Corvus Caspia, member of the Praetorian Guard and ally of the Cyrene League. Uh huh. Explain your plan to everyone. What, why? Oh, God. Right, oh, friend, please hear me out. We're going to attack them and deal damage to them. I propose infiltrating the enemy keep. Barkaberg. Kidnapping the Emperor's son. There's no apostrophe there. Prince Hadrian Barka. <laughs> this act of covert espionage will grant us control over their armies. Lost to end the war entirely. Sorry, I'm looking at another window. Okay. thing I was looking at was the timer because I'm you know wanting to get say to, just, yeah I'm starting to skip this because I, I want to actually get to like the gameplay here I agree I was gonna pose that with only so much time in our yep. first impression type video here yeah and, and a lot of it is discussing we're gonna fight you're gonna fight tomorrow look yeah, at this hey like, you're gonna fight tomorrow you know you're gonna fight tomorrow there's a fight tomorrow Val Val Venus <laughs> hello <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Oh, right. I have to wait for this. Uh... Every time there's a thing like that, I have to. Oh, wait, is there diagonal movement? Oh, that's. No, there's not. I don't know how I move like that. I was... Wait, what the hell? Nope. Sometimes. Is it I... just that one area? Oh, because yeah. there's a table in the way? Oh, because there's a table in the way. I couldn't see that table for a second. Mm -hmm. Alright, diagonal movement. Cool. Dun, 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 Are you dun, running dun, right dun, now? Dun. I can't say. Oh, right, I'm not. Yeah. Uh, what do you want? Buddy, buddy boy. Oh, it did give us our mana back. Okay, we have no gold. Did you see? Did you see that his name? Son of Fishman. His name was cut off, and it, it's a son of fish from a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the right format. This game is. Uh, 
question. Go strike. Why are you talking to me about this? Bam, bam, bam. X, 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 X. Schrader? Gordinger's cat. Hopefully he's out there somewhere. He was here today, Melvin. Oh, right. This is like a quest he's giving me. I guess I wasn't yeah, supposed to talk yeah, to him. Yeah. When I click on exclamation point, they give a new quest, so that's my fault. But I assume, you know, typical RPG logic, you want to pick up all the quests you can get. XP and shit. Yeah. Um, it's like... Oh, wait, that didn't give me a quest. It's like come outside and talk to me or something. Oh, but there should be a quest for that, if that's the case. It's true, with the blue estimation mark again. Hmm. Oh, this um, is kind of funny. No, 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 no. He only has he only has main quests, right? Oh no, I see. There would be categories in here, perhaps. I don't know. I have the same plugin, so I'm like, what's going on here? Because <laughs> uh, yeah, I was expecting to see like a uh, quest, like a side quests or a mini quests yeah, or something. Yeah. But I agree. Unless, unless it's main quests, so I'm like locked. Is that not where I'm supposed to go? Why is there a green arrow there? It just means you. It probably just means it's, it's uh, a room that actually a door that actually does work. Not like not at the moment, but as in general, like a lot of other doors probably you can't even use. I'm guessing. Period. They just there for really for artistic reasons. Oh, I was I was supposed to talk to this guy. Oh yeah, so it wasn't an inside quest. Strider, increase your group cohesion. Prepare for tomorrow's battles and speak with Extra Bard when you're finished. I, I don't know. I don't know how else to prepare. It's probably gonna be use these seals to buff your party though. Oh, this... you gotta get outside somehow. The way he went. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh, is there a door here or over there? Okay. Yeah, I saw him go south, and I didn't see the front door. Oh, here we go. There was, uh, okay. Now loading, really. Uh, that's just default RPG Maker. You're always yeah. gonna see that. Unless you do what I do, which is delete the text. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, there's always going to be at least like half a second of a black screen. Yeah. The fade. You screen wipes like old Star Wars. What? I don't want to talk to this guy. Skip, skip, skip. Go, 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 go. Think about the Shire. Okay. No, I did not ask. Is it? Okay. All one big family. Nope. No thanks. Yeah. Oh, I guess you're an asshole. <laughs> yep. I'm chaotic neutral. Chaotic neutral. I don't care unless it gives me money. Oh man, it kept his exclamation mark, but hopefully you don't have it. Yeah. Oh, this doesn't work. I thought I saw a frame dip, so I was pressing F2 to see the frame rate meter but it doesn't work for some reason it's not f1 is it no he turned it off somehow okay i suppose you were probably upset about people reporting frame dips so you got rid of that feature somehow because i assume that's the uh 3d mod doing that what am i supposed to do sprint 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 i'm gonna talk to him and actually finish i don't know oh god oh, you talk no talk to electro bar yeah to yeah him. you're right yeah okay Let's see what he's saying uh, hey hey oh. you i like this dialogue hey what? Instead of just cutting the scene. Are you chatting? Chatting the night alone. Red visor, huh? Sir, we have a small issue. What is it, soldier? Yeah, the performance is like getting worse. What the fuck is going Joblin. on? Joblins. Joblins, huh? Well, where are they? I guess I'll have to turn down something. Oh, they're right there. I'll say that forest, I noticed that, I was like, that forest looks like a hole. Oh, let's see. Uh, okay. Sure, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm getting like frame rate dips. So I'm like, maybe I'll turn down these things. I don't know if these shadows matter, so maybe I'll do that. Uh, wait, look sensitivity, I just realized. 
Oh, you had the render distance max, right? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's your best one. Let's see what that does. <laughs> how do I change? How do I turn? Oh, whoa. 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 The whoa. sky doesn't move at all, but whatever. It's sad. Yeah, it's a parallax box. That's pretty nice. So how do I turn the camera, though? Whoa. Oh, I can play it like a normal RPG Maker game. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> You're walking on your side. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to turn the camera. I don't know why there's sensitivity. I guess the sensitivity's for this, but why would you need to do that? All right. Oh, goblins! They broke in, but they're just oh, wandering aimlessly oh, in the corner. Oh wait, he said to save often. We might die. All right. We saved. We did it. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I guess I have to fight you now. Five enemies. Oh my God! It's that slime from. <laughs> test you made. Oh. Hello. Yeah, default. Default shit. Yep. Why are slimes and bats and goblins teamed up together, though? Oh, he's flying, so he didn't get by the earth attack. Interesting. Uh, uh, man. I guess. Cast it on yourself, because you're the one who has hit chance problems. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Wait, how didn't he melee him? How did he hit him? Isn't he in the back row? Oh. Oh, it's a, it's a spell. It wasn't a normal attack. It's a normal. <laughs> it's a. I mean, it's a spell that is a melee attack, so it's not considered a normal attack. Hmm. Yeah. It does seem kind of dumb that normal attacks can't, but all spells, even melee spells, can hit back row. Yeah, as long as it's not a normal attack. A little I wonder if that's because yeah, I don't know how he set up these things, but I assume because you know one of the categories you get, you only get three categories of how things hit in RPG Maker, which is no, which is melee, magic, and certain. And so I'm assuming he's like, ah, oh, well, I gotta make the magical attacks magic. You don't have to do that. You can make yeah. a magical attack, a uh, melee attack. Yeah, and it doesn't it, that doesn't change like the elemental damage or whatever? That's only for the hit calculations. Yeah, I guess that. And I don't know, is isn't that is that how if like a touch spell you can't can you you can't like parry a touch spell right or can you? I believe touch spells you still, you have to quote unquote roll to hit, which okay. is implication of yeah. like yeah, it doesn't the game doesn't have a parry system? Uh, the game doesn't have a parry system because that's what it's I just, that's kind of what I work with where I like I use melee. I set things as melee that I want to be parried, and then like being able to yep. parry a ranged attack is much more rare because like you can't parry a gun. <laughs> you need like yeah. a, you need like a riot shield because my game's modern or futuristic. Uh, catch a bullet. Catch a bullet with bare hands. Yeah, like Shape Jackie Chan's dad in Rush Hour. <laughs> what a reference! I want more. Oh, flood! Here we go. Oh, but he's flying. Let's do Ice Storm, because it'll hit flying enemies. Please, Ice Storm! On Marvel 2. I just realized that shark guy has... He looks very different in his battle sprite. He's a shark now, instead of fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he looks... Yeah, his, he has a, a snout and everything. But in his in his uh, uh, picture, his whatever, his face picture, he has a flat face. Yeah, this guy sucks. <laughs> yeah. Miss. <laughs> yeah, I, I like how he said he sucks before he missed it. It's like proof in the pudding, right? <laughs> he sucks, watch. Miss. Because he's a fucking bard. Wow, cool. Cool. Especially in an RPG Maker game. Because like a lot of the bards, things that make bards fun are like they're out of combat skills. There's no out of combat skills in RPG Maker game. Yeah. Yeah, they have uh, in combat, like they're they you have like a party buffs in D and D, but when they're singing, they can't do anything else. Yeah, I just uh, I don't know. I just didn't think that his uh, party skills would be particularly useful. Oh shit! I used yeah. a lot of his. Why is Hamwise a mage? Or is like right? Am I a rouge? He's a rouge, but he has earth tremor. I use that's not a rogue skill. A cure wounds? That ain't rogue skill. Yeah, what is he? Some sort of He's some sort of split uh, thing, but like it doesn't say 
what is secondary classes? That's yeah, that's a bard. You want to talk about a, a thief, uh, mage hybrid? That's a bard. Son of Fishma Wizard. <laughs> is, uh, formatting. Yeah. Whoops. Where was the testing of this game? Whoops. Whoops. Mark him down. The technical score is going to be pretty low. <laughs> uh, what was I trying to do? Oh, yeah. I was going to see if I needed to heal or remove poisons or whatnot. Mm -hmm. So you're a cleric, so that means you can heal. Oh, only two. Okay. Easy. Oh, full heal. Oh, my God. It's not one of those obnoxious RPG Maker games where huh. things are way unreasonably expensive. Oh, I better heal, though. Hold oh, wait. The start button is making me do that for some reason. I know the uh, goblins just walking right there next to the guard. The goblins have broken in and everyone's just wandering around. <laughs> yeah. Both guards and goblins. He said that guard wasn't really... You didn't even, you know, he should... Probably not just sit there and wait for you guys, even though he said, go test your metal. But okay. I think it's only Lecture Bard said that. The guard doesn't like it. Ah, oh, yes, it does keep me mana back. All right. But now I have the the old problem of I want to get in combat so I can spam an ability to get my mana back. Yep. Which is uh, kind of awkward. Last time I used this and I didn't even get to take his turn because everyone else was so much better. <laughs> they got to go before him. Ow. All right. Yeah. I don't know. I guess that's like... Special. I don't know, dude. Eldritch Blast. All the AoEs, that's it. Just the AoE stuff on. Yeah. People with AoEs are going to be just way better. There's so many enemies on the field. And these non-AoE skills don't seem to do very much damage. Like, these do, like, as much damage as my regular abilities. Or more. Did more? Yeah, did double. Uh, alright, let's use this guy's skills then. Attack? Okay. I'm gonna hope it's not just normal attacks and actually spells, too. Yeah, no, it says attack, so I'm assuming it's, it's not. It's probably, gonna... yeah, I think it's semi attack. Yeah. It's gonna be M attack. Nobody's using default attacks other than the guy who sucks. Um. <laughs> Oh, it's this guy's turn again. It's interesting. I don't think... Is that guard animation in the default RPG maker? I don't remember. <laughs> I guess I've never really used the default guard. I'd be shocked if the dev put in the effort to draw and use the guard sprites. I would be utterly shocked. Alright, so now that I have my hunter's mark, I can hit things, right? Oh, wow. That oh did a lot of gosh. damage. Holy shit. He's the best character. Okay, that's oh, oh, but he has a plus attack, too. All right, so these... This shit really stacks up, huh? All right. Yes, so. Uh, uh, that poison strike looks like a melee attack, but I'm assuming it's a spell, because... Uh, oh, uh, Eldritch Blast. Uh, man, they hate Fishboy. They do. I wonder if there's some sort of threat system that I don't understand. Uh, oh, right. Now it's time for you to actually do something. Um... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Zero damage? Wait a minute. Amazing. Imagine if that was your main. Is it even possible to do zero damage in... Oh, wait, because he's a slime? Does it mean he's immune to physical I damage? I was guessing. It's my best guess, but I don't know for sure. That's a, <laughs> that's a pretty tough thing to throw at fucking. Nope. Nope. He, that guy just fucking sucks. Uh. Oh, I can't attack from back here. Oh yeah, maybe he does get aggro because he did so much damage with his AOE. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Uh. That's guard. Whatever. Whatever. Nothing matters. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. But yeah, is it even... Whoa, 23. Yeah, with this, with the plus attack bonus... Oh, wait. That was the bard, though. He doesn't give it to himself. Why? Uh, so now we're so strong that we can... This attack bonus is really big, I guess. So much. Yeah, there's so much more than stones. Except for the bard's one. 
So I guess that's... I guess... Okay, so I guess I underestimated the bard in that regard. Fucking... Shit actually hey, does good damage. Job. Yeah, that's... Um, so that's good. It's just... He deals damage why, through, action, through helping his friends. He, he does so little damage that... He does zero damage to that guy, though. Which I assume is because the default RPG Maker formula is just... You know, attack minus defense... I mean, it's like four attack, four times oh. attack minus two defense, which is not how D and D works, right? Like you can always do damage. Like armor just is like a hit chance roll. Armor is purely for hit chance. Yeah, it does not offer damage reduction. So, there is some damage reduction here and there, but it's yeah, it's I there might I don't know if you can ever hit get them to zero, but yeah, in general, and even those items are pretty rare. Yeah, so I guess usually I don't know. it's just hit chance. I would definitely probably if you want to have a D and D feel, <laughs> that needs to be addressed in some way you need a different formula i mean if you really i mean the easy way out if you don't want to like figure out a bunch of uh differing formulas and stuff because you don't want to touch what you've already made you could just add a uh I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the screen in editing but it's like math either math i think it's math max and you put on one side your formula and on the other side you just put one and so it always do it always do at least one damage if you do that which is a little javascript uh, code. yes um, uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, healing. And then go talk to Electric Board. I say we do one more beat, story beat, and then like call it. Yeah, I mean, I just I, you know you'd think we'd be able to. This thing sounds like it just happens as soon as we sleep, so you'd think it would happen right away. But I guess we'll see. Doesn't seem like there's a a lot we need to get. To. Uh, what do you want me so to do? Speak to Electro Bar again. Okay. This... Talk to him again, I guess. Tell him we killed the so, goblins. Yeah, this quest thing doesn't really update very often. The city thanks you. What? More goblins? Cat! More? Look out! There's a cat! Oh god. We have a problem over here. Really? You heard the man. You know what to do. Sprint button. Skip dialogue. Two? You got it. Oh my god. Save. Okay. okay, they're literally just here to offer like little flavor text. Seems a little awkward. Yeah. Not fight. Okay, are you gonna help go, me? Go uh, south, go south. I'm curious uh, down there. That's not... Oh, we okay. got a wooden log, cool. Nothing. Alright, we fight. Oh, a cutscene. Oh, it's like Dark huh. Souls or something. Yep, yeah, on the stairs. Okay, but I can't, yeah. like, skip this? So how long is this? What am I supposed to do? Okay, there you go. This one might be tough. Nah, I've seen bigger. Come on, fellas. I know we can do it. Oh, we did a little animation. Alright, so this guy's going first for some reason. He can only buff one percent at a time, right? Is the enemy sprite RTP, or is it? CMT? It's like an it's a sprite edit. Oh, okay. And this is an RTP sprite, but it's they changed the color, they changed the pixel resolution, it seems, and they've also oh. like manipulated it so it animate like that into oh, a oh, battler, oh. I assume, because it's not doing the breathing mod that I have. It's, mm. So, but I don't know if the dev did that or if. It's just a sprite sheet someone made because it's you know it's RTP so like anyone could just edit it and put it on the forums. Sure. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm curious about because so they manually moved and did the, the animation even though it's obviously a very simple animation but still adds you know, I'd be impressed. Oh, he's weak. Weak to, that. to fire. That was the first time I've seen that. Uh, yeah. Oops! I wasted all my mana on the previous fight. Was... Whoops! It's I was not. Just smoking on it. I need my bard to make yeah. everyone super yeah. strong. He's weak to fire, right? Yeah. Theory? I mean, an application, yeah. Alright, so now... Bardic Inspiration. Now he's gonna make everyone OP. Uh... Oh, here's Matt, but it's only one person. Uh... 
Oh, that's what that does? Oh, this is the blind icon. And, uh... Oh, I guess it removes blind. I just thought I could put blind on the enemy. Oh. I forgot I forgot D and D terminology, you know, it's cause because it's called dark vision. Yep. Uh vision. Enhance? Oh no, it's Matt, right? Damn it, well this is free, so I'll do this. Oh my god, he killed Samwise, why? Oh wait, he gets two attacks. Shit. Uh, Use that revival skill, wherever it was. Yeah, somebody has that. Maybe I should use this. It's the ultimate Massive X skill. Uh, I have bonus attack! Oh, and it crit too, I think. Wow, sitting down. Yeah. This thing is not dangerous at all. Yeah! Yes. All the big moves. Nope. I nope. wasted all my mana, but I didn't waste my TP. <laughs> Your PP. Party point. Uh, oh my god, that's dead. This guy, Samwise, misses XP, though. Oh, yeah. What a fool. I assume he, I assume he misses out on XP. Yeah. Whoa, that was impressive. Thanks for your help, dickhead. Yeah. Just gonna stand five feet away from him. Yep. Uh, not gonna, yeah, see, there's the... Uh, let see if I do status. Oh, wait, he's not gonna tell me. Oh, <laughs> I'm stupid. RPG Maker doesn't tell you what the fucking status does. Um, by default, anyway. Alright, Dayman, time for you to spare the dying. Now it's time for you to healing word. Healing word, everyone. Alright. I assume we'll get to sleep, so this might have been for nothing anyway. All right, it did the thing. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Can you heal Our my mana, mana though? Yeah. Okay, so what was the pro why yes. did you heal me? Yes. You you were about to sleep, yeah. <laughs> Free of charge, of course. Uh, why why that? wouldn't I be done? Like, what else is there to do? Talk to. You can Samwise. talk to Samwise about his history. <laughs> Get a quest. Uh, oh, I can talk to all these dickheads. Oh, there's a bunch of side quests. Yeah, no thanks. No, there's no time. There's no time! We are ready. You sure? This might be your final night here. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't care. No time for We're RP. Doing a real playthrough, we would do this side quest. Oh, no, oh, it's doing this super sleep slow. Jingle. Sleep shit. Oh, okay. Chris is is coolest warrior here today. Oh, right, that's my character. I fucking forgot. Mm. Out of my way, old man. I guess that's the chaotic neutral. Yep. Listen up, losers. Anyone who comes up against me doesn't stand a chance in this fight. I'll defeat these barkinids single-handedly using my own physical strength. I have so much stamina, I'll outlast their entire army. I... Am, uh, God. Oh. Oops, I got cut off. Because I got cut. God. Yeah. Skip, skip, skip. Go, go, oh God. Go. Oh, whoops! Time to die. Black I guess. Night. So he's not a, the size of a building. No, it's bad. Skip. You think you're a god? I'm a god. Time to die, asshole. You are swine to me. I'll cleave you asunder. Oh well, that was. Body. I say, he doesn't kill you, he just slaps you over the head. Oh, it's oh, a nightmare. What a crazy dream. Mm -hmm. What, another scrolling text? No! Go faster! Wait, did that go faster? What did I do? 
can't make it go faster. All right. Morning of the battle, the Cyrene forces make their way northeast out of Cyropolis and towards the cleaved fields. Our heroes accompany the Cyrene League towards the enemy keep, Barkerberg. These fields are flooded with the traces of war, and the ongoing battles have left them a barren wasteland. Our heroes plan to split into two groups. One group will fight with the front line, defend off the Barkanid forces. The other group will infiltrate Barkerberg in an attempt to capture the Barkanid Emperor's son. In an act of tactical espionage, as of yet, there has been no sign of the Chronomancer or his companion yet, but it's still early. The Cyrene League has set up a small base camp at the foot of the fields. Will the Chronomancer and his Black Knight make an appearance? We will know soon enough. The battle is to begin shortly. Nuts. So yeah, I read fast like that because uh, I think that might be a little too fast to read. <laughs> I was going to say the scrolling is, is like me as a I think some of average readings to you actually fall down. We're gonna have trouble keeping them. Gotta wait for it to get off screen. Well, so now you came outside? No, we're in a different place, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you. Oh, oh yeah, we'll Sword and Shield. Right. Alright, so I'm gonna assume this is one of those like RPGs where you have to buy gear, because for some reason. Yeah. It's JRPG. Because JRPG. No, weapons. We've learned that attack is good. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> He's not wrong. All right. Let's see. Oh, whoops. That's actually fifty percent. Wait, these are not weapons. Oh, let's maybe see. the guy to the right you have to talk to. Which is still dumb because there's a sword behind him. It's probably the right. Oh, oh there's a weapon it. section. Wait, he oh, went to weapon section. No, That's I went right. to I went to sell. Oh, uh, okay. oh yeah, maybe you're right. right. This guy, right? right. right. Yeah. No, no, no way, no. Here we go. Interested? Are, yeah, interested. All right. So this is not as good as my current sword. Uh, how do I? Okay, that's how I do that. Wait, is it not? This plus one attack? Oh, there this is. This one for this guy oh, is plus okay. one attack. Gosh. Oh, these things are all cheap. Holy shit. Yeah, I was gonna say they're super cheap. Oh, maybe I should go down Buy, here. Buy like almost the whole shop. Plus two. Dayman, Chrysoris. What? Okay, what the what So can happened? everyone equip the weapon? Can you just buy like eight of them or six of them? You know, I was about to say RPG Maker doesn't have that, but it does. You just have to be smart with your uh, systems. Um, checking what these people have equipped, because I'm like, what the fuck am I looking at? Yes, everyone wearing chopping a axe. Can everyone use sword? I mean. How is a chopping axe? There we go. How's a chopping axe? How's it? these don't say like bagpipes? Oh god! He's oh, he has no more. weapon. That's right. Oh, but wait, his attack is twenty. His attack is twenty-seven. It's not huh. that big of a difference. Yeah, that's true. Unless there's some hit calculation that happens from your weapon. No, but no, yeah, he, he did a zero, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, these guys all have like really generic sounding weapons, so I don't know why these uh, cool sounding weapons aren't better. Deep Frost? Like. Shiny sword shaped like an icicle? I help this guy, I guess. Alright, well, let's look at the better weapon. This one is probably better. I look at that. M Attack? What? Oh, four for him. Wow. Poison dagger. Chance. Well, I don't know the chances, so I'm going to assume it's very low. Charcoal staff. Wisdom staff. Oh. Whoa! Plus 5 M attack for Son of Fishman. He's like my MVP. Alright, let's see if oh, I. Oh, yeah, have... what he does, AP and leaves, yeah. Let's see if. Uh... Alright, so I'm going to get the wisdom staff for this guy. And it's going to be all my money, or almost all my money. All right. Bow. I can give a bow to somebody that's in the back. Uh, I don't know why this doesn't affect his attack when he has no weapon equipped. Can he not equip it? Shit. Hmm. I think that's what that means, because it doesn't say... I'm forgetting how RPG Maker works. Because uh, it doesn't say a change, so I assume that means... Can't equip it. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. 
I guess we'll just have to die if I don't have properly equipped people. I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't uh, spend all this time trying to figure out the... So let's just whatever. Yeah. Maybe I'll just buy some armor for the frontline guy. Sure. Uh... Huh. Defense plus two. Defense and max HP. Okay. HP isn't very much, but I guess we'll do it because whatever. Uh, okay. Hooray, I wasted all my money. All right. All right, let's go. There's no time. The base camp is. How? Are we, are we not prepared? Is this... Where's the base camp? What do you mean? Maybe south of the bridge? I don't know. There we go. Oh. My gosh. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I like you have to buy a certain amount of items or something? Yeah, what the... F I mean, maybe I need to talk to somebody. Shabard. Still says that. Begin preparations. How do I do that? Look at the sign. I'm prepared now. I looked at the sign. Maybe I talk to this guy? Okay. That's... Uh, okay. I'm going to talk to some people here, I guess. Okay, he's here. He's, bar, he's the yeah. consistent guy. Talk to this guy. And yep. Uh, I mean, we're just gonna fight people with our fists. Yeah. RPG maker. There's no. There's nothing clever to do. Yep. Okay. Nah, no side quests. Is it? If that's is that not Corvus Caspia? He said, "Go talk to Corvus Caspia." Oh, did he? Okay. Oh, <laughs> I guess I'm going too fast. time like this. Now tell me. Uh, yes, fight them with your fucking fists and shit. Oh, so it actually does split. Sounds good. So much of this. Alrighty. Uh, your party will now split in two groups yes, temporarily. I don't like this. No. Guest party members will join and leave periodically, using their advantage while you have them. Do I get to choose who gets the split? No! It, it, you didn't. Yeah, it didn't. You didn't choose. It just oh, showed the bad. It split it the worst way. I wanted the fucking bard to be on the team with this guy, because he has the plus M attack, or plus attack. Oh, no. And some yeah, fishman is like it, the MVP. Just, he doesn't need anyone. Yeah. Fuck. Alright. Whatever. Huh? Temp? Temp balance. Bark and it's have arrived. Oh, that thing you keep talking about has happened. Yeah. It's... Yes, let's go. Yes, let's go. Such repetitive dialogue. Say the same thing three or four times. All right, all right, all right. Let's go this way, right? The battles have begun. There's no telling how many of them we'll need to fight through. Yeah. Uh -huh. I thought we were supposed to be on the hey, front lines. Where are there people? Oh, we got this dumb guard. What can he do? The temp, temp allies. Super guard. Oh, encouraging words. Uh, superpower. What? All right, we'll try it. Maybe hit super hard. <laughs> oh, you're a bad guy, I guess. You're wearing the uh, Decepticon colors, purple and black. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to do this to ourselves. I thought there was... Oh, maybe... I don't know. Maybe you were right about the camera thing. I'm realizing there's no camera movement. Yeah. In battle. Uh, This guy can't do shit, right? Oh, he can do this. Oh, he can do... I just realized. In hats. <laughs> Make the best character hats. even better. <laughs> Ow. Time for everyone to die. I stole... Let's see how strong this is. Oh gosh, 90 down, total damage. Oh, uh, no. 
I have like buff. No, no, I don't. I have the bard. Uh... Oh boy. This is... Oh, I hit him. Uh... Now he can do default attack. Go! Default attack. Hooray! You did it. Uh, you know, Damon. I want. It's supposed to be Damon. <laughs> oh. Spelled as Damon. <laughs> this whole time, I've been making jokes about. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll. I guess I'll ask that of the dev of Always Sunny in Philadelphia. There's an episode about where they write a rock opera or a musical or whatever, and so there's a song, Dayman, Fighter of the Nightman. Oh. Uh, I don't know if that's what he was going for, but it maybe maybe you're or right. It. Maybe it's just. Yeah. Spelled Damon in a funny way. Yep. Um, yeah. Everyone's almost dead. Let's just guard. Yeah. Get our money, our money back. Get our mana back. Money back. Money back guarantee. Oh no, he's so weak. Without. Ah, just another auto attack should kill him. This guy hits hard. Oh right, because he didn't get buffed by the uh, bard. No. No, I'm I dead. I can't move. Oh, he says that as he's dying. Ah. Potion healing was found. All right, I did it. I'm the best. What? I can't help this I guy. Just, I watch. No, my friend. I wanted more teammates. Rock. Oh, they're just rock. they're just background then. Oh, I can't move this. Oh, I trapped it. Ah, uh, reset the screen. Damn. I was saying you can hit him with it. I don't know. Uh. I storm. Yep. That's all that's gonna happen. Yep, stay away, stay away. Gonna buff him again. Uh, enhance. Oh, enhance the only guy who has M attack. Ah, spear! Oh, should I heal up before this happened? Ah, oh, whatever. Ice stone. Wall of fire. Let's burn them. They have armor on, so fire should be better, right? Because it heats the metal. Uh... Wait, did this... Oh, because he guarded, so he took less damage. Yeah, that's not a D&D &D thing. Huh. Uh... Can't just cut damage in half whenever you feel like it. Nope. No, it sucks! He sucks, no! Boy, he's, his buff is really awesome, alright. Uh, oh yeah, let's uh... What does this do? Oh. Uh... Yeah, I was hoping he had a group heal. I guess he doesn't. Oh. Oh no, not double attack. Wait, he only attacked once though. Glacius is almost dead. I'm not using my shit wisely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, whatever. Oh, he just guards? Is it literally all he does? Oh, he's dead. Uh... I'm kind of in trouble here, because I am not... Like, yeah, you're pretty low. ...using my shit intelligently. Um... Uh, I'm gonna go heal. Fuck. Alright. Eh, whatever. If you die, you die. Uh, yeah. Just be a... And then... No! I thought that was a resting point. Huh. <laughs> uh... Oh, look at this guy. Hey, it's Shredder. Whoa! Camera! It's betraying us? Oh. I was hoping to write to you, so I could betray you. Uh, join my party? What's going on? Huh? You need help looting that chest? Yeah. The problem just arrived, as you're saying. Keep our eyes out. I'll join no, so that's, that's not the right saying, keep our eyes out. And randomly double space again, as I said. <sighs> keep an eye out. Yes. Aragorn has joined our party. Oh, look at all this shit. We're gonna win now. Throw it by the Uh. 
So what does throat medicine do? Oh. Blind. No, where's like something that gives us like mana back? Oh wait, we, we got our mana back somehow. No. Maybe Strider heals the head of everyone? I guess so. Yeah, I haven't battle balance. I guess they realize you're pretty low after those two fights. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just advance the story, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I actually don't know if I am getting XP or not. Oh, you haven't leveled, right? Yeah. I should probably check the status screen and see. Um. I don't know. Whatever. Chance to hit. Chance to hit doesn't cure him of missing with his cool moves, so. Hmm. I'm just like, whatever. Um. Oh no, he does the same things. What? He's so lame. How are you a legendary hero? Alright, well, let's just see if his attack is really high. What a loser. What a bunch of. Bullshit. Son of Fishman is the real legendary hero here. Son of Fishma. Because he's just like. Hey, check it out. Here's a shitload of damage. Ugh. Oh my gosh. He's so good! Yep. Everyone else sucks! Oh, I can't attack anyone else. Guy who does a ton of AoE damage by far best. Oh no! Oh my gosh. Chance to hit. Has... Why? 10, that's it. Move forward. Are we supposed to... Switch in rows. Two. Oh, three, I suppose. Two, there's two. It's like nothing. Uh, you can do this, so he doesn't have to... He has it M attacks, so it should do more damage, right? Doesn't look like it, actually. Uh, not really, yeah. It did 3-4 instead of 2-3, but yeah, it's still kind of weak. Yay, murder! Yeah, 40 damage. That guy has 40. A, That guy's attack is so fucking weird. Yeah. Why does he have the ability to give himself insane damage? Hmm. Why isn't I he... Can't... Like, that's what Strider should have, not this generic idiot. Yep. Not Gal... I know it's Galasius, but I'm just saying Glacius. Alright, we did it. We did it, Strider. There's uh, the boss over there. Oh, ah. What the hell? I... All right, I could have well, went down and avoided the fight. Yeah, I didn't realize that would happen. <laughs> dun, 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 this is what I was. I just made a video talking about this. The uh, I got bamboozled because they're you know up and down, but RPG yeah. Maker only does left and right when you get targeting. It does left right, yeah, yeah. Six, Jesus. All right. It's Time a superpower and fish man. That's everything. Superpower attack man and fish man. Maybe I should do this. Can Give he get enough attacks. haste to do more attacks? <gasps> he does. All right, cool. See his, his thing shift over. Oh, that was pretty fun. Yeah. Urgh, and he crit. He killed him instantly. Dude. My God. The damage value of this game are so buried. Yeah, it's kind of. Uh, I mean, it was yeah, a crit. Like, but yeah. Oh, but still, I, yeah, it's like two versus forty-five. It's like yeah, forty-seven in. But I wonder what the crit formula is. I've talked about in the past how the default formula is triple damage, which is uh, insane. You almost always get yeah. like an insta kill. It's actually also it's actually triple damage plus your luck or something like that. So oh. yeah, that was a that was a problem I discovered in testing Oni Cell Sword. Uh, uh, I had I changed it to double damage, but I didn't touch the luck thing. But because the numbers are so low in Oni Cell Sword, getting like a plus five meant you could like one shot people, you know? Uh, sure. Uh, what's happening? I don't know. God, there's nothing. Yeah, it's like either do very little damage. Oh, wait, that guy. Or one shot. Yeah. Boom! Ugh, is that a pixel of hell? Oh, you're that pixel. Uppercut strike. Anything that says does Five massive turns. damage, just do it. I'll get to this guy.
This guy's attack isn't that good, though. I don't know what I'm doing. That's the, yeah, give it to Glacius. Oh, does I, do I need to heal someone? Not really. Glacius already has the yeah. haste. I can't give it again. Oh, you guard! He's just gonna guard? Come on, bro. He's like, well, I can't win, so I'll just waste yeah, your time. I'm gonna stall. Yeah. Uh, there's no damage. Yeah. Do anything but magic missile. No, it's like it's half damage. <laughs> it's it halves everything. I know, but still, it's like... oh god. Galatius' turn. Five damage. Oh, I guess damage bonus for all. Yeah, I ran out. Yeah, smelling so. Damn, I guess I'm dead. Yeah, I like how they have a whole a whole sentence as they're done. Oh my god, I can't. I have to fight these people. Oh, oh my god. No getting past us. Well. I mean, you, if you want to get to the boss, by all means, but I'm pretty much... Yeah, I'm trying to I'd get like to the check boss, that. I guess. I guess we'll get that far. Uh, I don't know, let's just buff Glacius. <laughs> I don't know. Glacius and Fishman, the two heroes of the story. Uh-oh! Damn. Alright, well, he'll guard. The mana. They didn't give me items to give mana back, so... Yeah. Kind of screwed here. Hate him so he guards. Yep. Right, yep, that is exactly what he's gonna do. Hey, so he can guard again. You, on the other hand, you're gonna go back to buffing Fishma. Fishma, son of Fishma. Son of Fishma! What's Flood? Let's do this one. Let's see. They probably all do the same, have damage, just different elements, <laughs> same damage for me. Hey, that's a. Yeah, I killed the person who was weak, so I guess I'll use a different one. Silence? Yes, silence the guy who doesn't use magic. Very good. Oh, wait, but I can't... Lens. Oh, he can still cast this. Okay. So I don't know what silence did. No. I guess it's, it's not a spell. Stops. It's a skill, you know, a spell. Uh... Da -da. Silencio. No. I don't know. Oops. Let's just attack someone. This guy... Oh, you suck. You suck, bro. Let me show you how it's done. Yeah, fishman uh, 33 yeah. damage. So strong. Oops. Everyone else, waste your turns. Oh, he missed. Oh, because he's blind, right? Uh, this removes blind, right? Yes. Remove it from Fishman, because he is the hero. He's the true hero of the story. Everyone else is a joke. Uh... Look at all these fucking spells he has. There's so many overlapping spells, too. He has haste, too, but, like... Why would he yeah. cast haste? He has too much other shit he needs to do. He needs to do all the work. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting XP, I just realized. Oh, you know, is it like D&D, &D where it's like you get XP at the end of the encounter? Uh, oh, yeah, check stat go to status. Go see what status says. If there's actually even experience. And saves. Oh, it just takes a ton of experience. Yeah, maybe. Just like D&D &D also takes forever to level. I'm like out of mana, so I don't have any items to restore my mana, right? It might I, heal you. I already checked this, but checking it again. Game might heal ya. Oh, for the big fight? Yeah, just save first. Oh, well, yeah. Red look. Oh, That's what does Red do? It goes to Fishma. Nope. That's pretty good. 50% HP. Yeah. All right. Do I get healed before this happens? I don't know. Say, so take the risk. Take the risk. Be like, oh, I don't I mean, care. What else are we gonna do? Yeah. Oh, wait. Level, how do I get level up here? Farm. This way. Ah, oh, there we go. I wonder if you can go all the way back to uh, the beginning and rest. But That'd be funny. I don't know. Wait, there's uh, a second. Oh, you can't get the other chest. I can if I go this way. Oh, I'm gonna go all the way around. Oh, okay. Diagonal movement. Yeah. Magic orb. Does that give him? Or <laughs> absolutely? Does that give him? Oh. Oh. There's a cave. Oh, rest in the cave. Yeah, let's go take a look at Stevens. Oh, it's your chest. It's oh, a boss fight. Yeah. Exactly. Oh no, it's spiders. Oh, that's spiders. Oh my God! There's so many of them, and they go first. No, this is a disaster. You just want to reload and fight the boss? 
We don't have any we don't unless you have a way to get Iceman's uh Ice yeah. Storm. This would take fucking forever. Yeah, that's true. That's the wrong button. Why are my f, f keys not working? Did he Alt F four? He ah. disabled all of the F keys somehow. Wow. I don't know why he did that. Unless I'm crazy and my keyboard is broken or something. Insane in the membrane. Oh whoops. Do I have to click in the window? Is that the issue? Oh, that's the issue. Okay. Huh. I guess this oh. is an RPG maker thing. Continue. So that did you have to restart the game, or was that straight up? That was a restart. Like, go back the to game. title screen. Oh, okay. I, that's what that button does. That's an RPG you maker command. Heal. So wait, does that mean? Oh, I can't turn on the FPS. Okay, I'm dumb. What happened? Uh, I just had to click in the window for the F keys to work again. Oh. <laughs> oh, I did get a bunch Thanks of... Isn't... I have been getting a bunch of gold, so there's that. So... Is there even an in to go to, though? Can I talk to this guy? Try not to die. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I guess all I have is... All I have is this guy. Oh. Tiny hut? Oh! Oh, that's like a sleep... Yeah, you can sleep. Inside a safe little hut. Yeah, there we go. I'll sleep inside your store, sir. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoops. I mean, I guess I appreciate the effort. Well, there we go. I'd say find the boss. Or... Yeah. I guess the one way you could potentially improve that. I don't know if you want to do that. You just have like a. Nah, I don't know. That'd be a lot of work to check all <laughs> the things. I probably would just make that. Tent smaller so it doesn't clip into things like that. But I don't know. Yeah. I was gonna say something about having like a switch that's on or off depending on what room you're in, and then you mm -hmm. do an if statement to check if it's on or off before it lets you use it, so you don't do something silly like sleep in someone's in or sleep in someone's store. Explosive powder. I will, I want. I'm curious if you can push the rock into some someone, but I don't. I don't know if I want to delay wake that long. I don't know what this explosive powder is for. Oh, there it is. Sold at a oh. decent price. Oh, okay. All right, whatever. Time to die. Oh. Time to no die. Save. No fear. I saved relatively recently. Yeah, you'd have to retent though, I think. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's not a big. Thing. If we die, then we then probably done. Know, hardcore mode. We're dead. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. I agree. I'm. I'm pretty much like. Yeah, we're, def no. we're over time, so it's fine. Oh, okay. Don't get carried away. Keep you your guard up. You know, after we kill this guy, it's just going to be... The story's going to be... Great job on fighting the Arcanids. Yeah. Now, go rest, heroes. Because we have a battle tomorrow with more Barkanids. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. All right, he has to do this. Superpower! <laughs> For some reason, he can do this. Reshot the boss. Yes, Galatius, the generic hero. He's the best. The best guy in our party. I just wish he... Oh, I'll use this on him at some point. Oh, yeah, do it. Fight next turn. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Oh, uh, increase the PP. Magical orb, was it? Uh, yeah. It's a limit, though. I don't know if it increased... Oh, it does actually increase it. Okay. Gouage. Uh... Party gouage. Yeah, I guess I'll do this. I don't know. I wonder if this is the. They're gonna say this is, English is not my first language. I go. Well, <laughs> still oh, use Microsoft. Use Spellcheck. Yeah, Spellcheck will solve that for you. You don't gotta worry yeah. about nothing. Galatius, Galatius yeah, is gonna. He's gonna do he's gonna all gonna the him? damage. Oh, 41 damage. Yes. Yeah, wasn't. That wasn't a ton, but I mean, it still has a lot. But yeah, we were hoping for like a hundred. Yeah, I wonder if the formula doesn't use attack or something. Cause that's <laughs> weird. Imagine. Try multi slash with him. See what happens. How much damage Everyone multi slash. Ah! Two. Oh, okay. So Two? he's really high defense okay. or something. Uh, do I have a spell that like? Wait, what's this buff fish anyway? Increase strength with your cast spells. Okay. He's like, why does this character have so much shit going on with him? Yeah, so many spells and has tensors. It's like a I, 
D and D spells called Tensor's Transformation, but yeah, it's where you can't cast, but you get fighter stats. Mm. That's how I think that is. But ruin, ruin, do it, do it, do it. That's the multi slash. His multi slash. Oh yeah, I Ultra already cast one hundred. Yeah, I did. I cast the Matt Matt on him. So ah, oh, uh, this guy okay. is so much damn. This guy has so much fucking shit going on. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's somebody that has like a. Someone has a like reduce death type thing. This is probably gonna do zero damage, right? Oh no, it did damage. Did it's normal damage of almost zero. Yeah. Power up. Oh. What? Oh my god. Oh no. What is happening? Okay, so he has default default RPG maker, uh what's it called? Um AI, battle AI. You should probably look into Yanfly or something. I assume you have some Yanfly stuff. Yeah, this 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 is a Yanfly plugin, so you have Yanfly, Yanfly stuff. Yanfly battle AI, so you can tell them to do smart things like, hey, if I already have this buff, then don't fucking use it again. <laughs> so you don't look so your enemies don't look stupid. Um I mean what control does he need? Try this. We haven't tried it. He's an auto attack, yeah. Yeah. Is that one more turn of superpower? Yeah. Yeah. What? What? Same damage as Maltese last year. Just about. Like. Oh, this guy's attack is lowered, so he's gonna be garbage, huh? Let's see if he can heal apparently. Let's heal fish boy. He's still the hero, even if he's not the best in this particular yeah. fight. Keep doing that. Uh, I mean, he might. This guy might have a weakness of some sort. Ah, so say, yeah. Just cast the elemental fire weak. Oh, oh, he I did it. Him. He's the hero. Da, 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 da. He made the Minotaur sad. Yep. Fade the black. Mundus's axe. Mundus. Mundus. I'll say Mundus like from Devil May Cry. Slash oh. pride from. Squeeze the next, so there you go. He's good now. Try your chest there too. Give, give. Oh, another tiny hut. Perfect. Oh, there's a tiny hut. <laughs> well, after we fight the boss, I don't think it was possible yeah. to reach that without. Before, um... without fighting him first. What? We should take a short break here. Um. Rest. Oh, sorry. I still recover. Another tiny hut. Another so, thing. I guess yeah. that's the game. You don't get in so much. You just get tiny huts. Yeah. Oh, but I already. It already did my shit. For yeah, me. but it just more for the future. Okay. Cool. All right. So we're good on resting. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, oh god. god. Okay. I have to talk to these fucking people. What the hell is happening? Events. Oh, okay. Ultraman. Excellent job. You did fighting. Good work. Uh-huh. Oh, it's going to cut, yeah. Oh. What, why, would I more, why would I need more time? If he transfers stuff. So. Yeah, I'm going to guess that we just have shared inventory. That's how RPG Maybe. Maker works. Yeah. Magic. Uh, we made it. No, 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 no. We're going to hold spacebar now. Wow, I'm holding the button. There's oh, it's a stealth mini game. Oh, is it? Oh, no. Yeah. Who's I just try it, it, whatever. If you get caught, then. Curious how it. Archer. He's. You know, I just realized that these guys. Nathan. Are also... I have to save because those are such long text things. Uh, wait. Stealth? stealth? stealth. How do I stealth? Like, see that guy turns? No, no, no. Like, oh. like, don't let him, don't let him see you. Like, uh, like metal yourself. Cast stealth. <laughs> uh, he's looking right right now. Did you see that guy? That guy turns. The guy to oh. the left, turning left and right. So, so there you go. Ah, sorry. I'm trying to see the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that guy's gonna see me. Oh, so, okay. oh, I guess I'm supposed to go right. Yeah, that sounds like. 
Well, whatever. Yeah, it's, uh... I don't know if there's anything more to really cover with this. I don't think so. I was going to say, I was, I was over, wondering, maybe if we time, read it. So. Yeah, yeah, I figured it would take forever. Um, I was going to say, I was curious a little bit about the... If the stealth section was going to be something more interesting, but it looks like it's just don't let the guy see you. So yeah. We, pretty, we skipped it. We skipped that level, but yeah, it's, yeah, like... Pretty simple implementation. I think I, I think I saw yeah. what I was supposed to do. I think I was supposed to turn right instead of crossing his line of vision because he doesn't turn. There's a little yep. like alley I could go through. Yeah. Uh, I was just sprinting because. Uh, because whatever, yeah. Because I was not really using my whole brain. I was like, go. <laughs> um, True. So yeah, let's go with the scoring. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So that was an RPG Maker game. Uh, I guess we're going. I think we're going to be going full heel here. So warning. Doing. Yeah. We're going to be Shawn Michaels throwing Marty Janetti through a barbershop window. Uh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what what my why I keep putting wrestling references in these things. I guess because I guess I think about uh, Dragon Ball Z and wrestling a lot for these uh, types of things. And like yeah. children's things like Beast Wars and the X-Men cartoon I've been watching because like you know th they have very basic storytelling and uh oh. <laughs> it's still when it works it still works you know and yeah i feel like uh i don't know like some of these rpg maker games could at least do that and i would be happy <laughs> like yes trying to show that i'm not some fucking guy who's going to be talking about like i don't know amadeus or like all these like oscar winning like awesome movies that i would normally say are like hey this is an example of good writing like, just be as good as wrestling, and I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, stop wasting so much time and get to the point and make characters, even if they're a little one-dimensional, at least make them interesting. Yeah, interesting. Uh, uh, sell the... I mean, they, they kind of this guy kind of sold the villain by having him destroy their boat in the beginning. They didn't really yeah. sell us on, like, motivation of the characters. I mean, I guess that's... Um... I guess that's kind of like the D and D problem because usually <laughs> you're just supposed to like be like RPing with your friends and stuff. Like, uh, yeah, that's, it's, it's that's kind of where the, sure. that's kind of where the fun comes from in terms of yep. story. Uh, so anyway, uh, I guess just, I don't know if we want to talk more high level stuff or we want to go to the categories. Uh, nah, I'm sure we'll cover most of it in the categories. All right, so. Yeah. Uh, more high levels. So gameplay, huh? Is this what song is this? Nine. Uh, I don't think you'd recognize this. I don't know what this game is. It's called Metal Warriors. Metal Warriors. Oh, what you knew? I, call... <laughs> I knew it. Wow. This sounds so familiar. Wow. Yeah, Metal Warriors was sick. I don't know what game this is. Wow. Um, really quick, but it's it's a it was a Lucas Arts game, hilariously. But yeah, it's like a mech two uh, D. It's a side scroller, but you play as mechs, and there's a bunch of different model of mechs. Hmm. Um, and I played it. I think my my godmother rented it once, so wow. and I really liked it. Yeah. And then I eventually re I think I replayed it at some point and beat it like years later on emulator. But yeah, I was like, ha! I know. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, I Metal recognize Wars this one. This is Gradius. Yeah. No, oh, okay. I think, I've, I think I've played this game. Anyway, UN uh, Squad, UN Squadron is the SNES song we need, hopefully at some point. But anyway, one of the <laughs> guns. That game, that game is great music. Anyway, okay, so let's get to this. Yes. Uh, shame play. Got my uh, play. So okay, so I had a thought about this. Um, it was nice in that it wasn't just hold space bar, but in the end, it kind of. You know, there's a lot of skills up front, which is not necessarily always bad. I know a lot of games tend to, they try to want, kind of give you a curve, right? Um, to build up to for your high level and high number of skills. This game, it just like, flooded you with it. It did kind of get to that point, though, where you just wanted to, you had a bunch of people whose turn you didn't care about. Yeah. You had six party members, and you're just waiting to get to your one or two nukers, which wasn't good. And... Otherwise, it was super generic. It's, uh, lots of walk around and 
five basic <laughs> items, so and then you know battle battle. So that's a little bit better than just hold space for, but you know not by much in all honesty. Yeah, um, definitely that was the problem I had. Lots of superfluous skills that didn't really seem useful. I think the I mean definitely there's the problem of trying to convert uh, your D and D party into an RPG Maker game because a lot of yeah. abilities aren't useful in an RPG Maker type game. Yes. Uh, we have a rogue character who's just like, I can stealth. It's like okay, but you don't have the ability to like leave the party and like navigate a level on your own. Yep. Um, and you don't have you, like lock picking yeah. and shit. Like, and you know, in D and D, uh, with the spells, as far as I know, with the meta, I mean, I don't, I you know, I went to a few parties, but usually people pick. Uh. Uh, they'll just loop a lot of one spell or they'll have one of each like they'll do one damage spell one buff spell whatever this it's like you get fuck eight damage single target damage spells <laughs> yeah know? it's like so redundant it's not how you know it's just not how it would be yeah so. that definitely felt that stuff felt redundant there's a lot of elemental stuff which yep I don't know that D&D doesn't really get into elemental uh, damage that much Mm, yeah, I mean, it, it is a thing for sure, but yeah, it's not like you're always fighting. It's not like you went to the ice world and you're fighting ice people, and now you have all your fire cells. I mean, that can happen. Yeah, but, well, it's but it's not like it's yeah, not it's like not a, I don't know persona system, like, or something where it's like, oh, we found this bat. What is is he weak to shadow or is he weak to fire? And you have correct. to like, test them to figure out what their elements are. It doesn't really happen. There yeah, are certain things not, like it's not a core mechanic that they that they balance the game around. You for most like most they do some encounters, but yeah, majority of encounters you don't really care. Yeah, so that's why I kind of felt like, why are you giving me three different elements? Like every time you give me an attack spell, just yep. about like what's the and point? they all do the same damage. Yeah, and you can't even you have yeah, you just like want to try and find out the weakness of the enemy. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, and that played some part in the game, but like doesn't really. It was so minor. In the end, he just wanted high minor. stats to nuke everyone. Yeah. And so... And you, you didn't care what element. The weak wasn't that big of a deal. In fact, I want to say it's pretty much meaningless. Because you just wanted the big ice storm. <laughs> <laughs> and then and if you got a weak, you're like, okay. And if you didn't get a weak, you're like, okay. You still probably kill them in roughly the same amount of turns. Yeah. So... And yeah, just... Either... I guess there's superfluous, and then there's, like, stuff that was kind of felt like fluff. Like, all the statuses and stuff that you'd have to clear. But, yeah. like... Uh, I don't know if those get cleared after battle. If they are, then that definitely makes them feel kind of pointless because you have to spend the whole turn. Um, yeah, and then just kill the enemy. And I definitely think that there was probably I don't know the damage formulas didn't seem very questionable. Like go, <laughs> going from like dealing seven damage to like forty damage just off of like yeah. one buff. Yeah, um, it's crazy. Like just with an auto and. You know, I guess we could say, like, oh yeah, it made it exciting. You could hear that I was excited to do big damage. But, like, I don't know. It, it's, it seems kind of like a cheap trick to be like, your damage is completely garbage until you get to, like, this one uh, good combo or one good character. Yeah, um, that's the vibe I was getting from that was... It wasn't so much of like, oh, that did. I had so much damage. It was more so like, God, where is my high damage? Which I can get this over with. <laughs> yeah, because right? so many of the characters could do so little, but like basic so attack, cool. really. So when yeah. their basic attack is garbage, it's just like, okay, just waste this person's turn, I guess. Yeah. Um, so that's where I kind of question it. Because in D&D, &D, you do have characters, you have classes that are very focused on just doing a basic attack, but like, they're pretty fucking strong, usually. Like, to the point where if you're new to D&D yeah. &D and you don't know what you're doing and you pick like a wizard or a sorcerer and someone else picks a fighter, you're going to be like, God damn, this fighter is doing so much work. Like, it's so goddamn hard, yeah. But if you are if you actually know how to play a D&D &D and you get late game, then the wizard turns into a fucking god. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the, the big thing I would say is, you know, if you, you, you know, I remember I had this thing happen where I would say, oh, you know, a uh, fireball, right? You, it's 10d6. You're like, 10d6? Oh my god, that's 60 percent of damage. And you go, okay, let's break this down, though. Average of a d6 is 3.5. So, 35 average. Okay, then 
enemies can save for half damage, which is now what is that? 18 something? No, like 17.5. So yeah. this 10d6 now is actually average is 17.5. Now, that doesn't sound nearly obviously it's an AoE, but for the sake of this, it's like, okay, that 10d6 doesn't sound as amazing anymore. And then um you add in a fighter. You go, okay, the fighter, let's see, has a D8 plus, let's say, three, because they have a plus one sword and then, you know, 16 strength. Okay. And they have two attacks. Okay. And then now, so now isn't that warrior is doing, let's say, what, a D8, four, plus three, seven, 14. And then you give them, like, a haste buff or something. And then... You know, maybe they get a better. They maybe they have a, a second weapon, right? That they're like a ranger or something. And all of a sudden now, because if they land the hit, there's no like save for half, right? They just have to deal with the average of their dice. And all of a sudden now you have a warrior or a fighter hitting someone, you know, for I don't know, 30, 40 damage in one turn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because there's no save um, versus yeah, the the fire, the amazing ten d six fireball hitting for seventeen. So yeah, and that was the other yeah. thing about uh, AoE that we should bring up in that D&D, at least if you're using a version that has like a grid and people can be spaced out, you, even though the, the range, even though the size of Fireball is massive, you're not necessarily always going to hit all of your enemies and you might hit your teammates. Correct. So because RPG Maker is so basic, you just always hit all of the enemies and you never hit your teammates. So That's true. That just makes yeah. Fireball type spells even better. <laughs> it just makes it so good. This is true. Yeah, you just fired off with complete impunity, and and then, um, battle toads, double dragon, and uh, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what wow. was the previous song? Really quick. Oh god. Do you remember? Uh, if you can't find one, I can figure that out pretty easily. Donkey I Country, know. of course. Okay, I was gonna say it sounded familiar. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> leave it in. This is funny. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, you fire off with impunity, and then. Uh, the problem was also the single target hit, even of the AoE hitting all six, five people, whatever. The single target hit was almost was oftentimes more damage than most normal attacks. Yeah. So not only are you hitting everyone, you're also hitting them for more. And then, yeah, I don't know if you you, if you could go back and maybe buy. I don't think you buy the huts, but uh, you know the huts kind of get rid of the MP issue. And oh then, yeah. yeah, maybe I could. You know, I probably should check that. If you could vendor. buy a hut, yeah. Because there was yeah, a vendor then, that had all those consumables. I didn't check him because yep. I found the hut and I was like, oh, this is what I need. Yes. So at that point, yeah, maybe just the spells, just, yeah, just fire them off. Like, like there's no reason AoE should be doing more damage. Yeah, because the, uh, yeah. the equipables didn't seem too good. It didn't seem like, I don't know, maybe maybe the consumables were cheap. They're giving me gold pretty often. So, you know, yeah. I could have potentially just. Instead of upgrading my gear too much, I could have just spent all my money on uh, tents and just be like, all right, I'm just going to rest after every battle and blast everyone. Exactly. So, yeah, it, it really wasn't balanced. Well, it got to the point where it felt like Magic Missile doing its seven total damage was pretty much doing zero. If you, <laughs> you find the big nuke, the 40 damage, 30, 40 damage nuke, or you're pretty much doing not, not doing any damage, you know? Yeah. So. Those guys, those little damage guys were essentially like, oh, this guy survived with one hit point, I can finish them off. <laughs> uh, so, man. I don't know, let's see. I'm thinking the two. Yeah, the RPG Maker 2, I think. I, that was actually what I yeah. was thinking too. It's just like, two. Uh, yes. Uh, I think that's... I'm trying, uh, to think, I'm trying to think of I some random other comments to make. I'm like trying to think of the over map and walking around but that's all yeah. pretty basic stuff so so yeah i, I kind of assume because that uh mod the 3d plugin mod is so has such bad optimization <laughs> like that's probably a big reason why um why the maps were laid out the way they were because the game gets pretty laggy pretty fast if this map sure. is of any size also I, I apologize you can probably hear my cat yeah playing definitely with, can <laughs> playing with She's playing with the toy. The little was it the ball with the thing inside of it? It's a it's a little track with balls that you can knock in a circle. Oh, that's right. I I've seen that thing. Yeah. Um. All right. Yeah. There's not much else to say. It was 
you know, the main combat was the whole skill count and then try to make the high damage stuff. Otherwise, it was really generic RPG maker. Yeah, skipping people's turns because they're useless. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like... Get it out of the way. Man. Man, oh man. All right. Narrative? Narrative. Uh... I'm giving this. This is going to be pretty low. Yeah. Because... The, all the grammatical errors, not knowing to spell check, gauge, uh, all those bad plural mechanicals, and then the the presentation of the story was just atrocious. There's so much. Yeah. Three people saying the same thing. Are you ready to go blankety blank? We're going to go fight these blankety blanks. And then the next person you talk to says the same thing in a slightly different way. And the next person says the same thing in a slightly different way. Yeah, it's, it's like definitely mash, insane. Mash, mash. I think, like, at some point I was not sure if I was just like bored with the story or if it really had been that long and that's why i was like looking over at uh obs to see how <laughs> long the recording was because yeah. yeah it had been that much time like I, like i can't believe so little happens and it takes so long to explain so little yep like a game like it's definitely always a struggle you know there's always this temptation as a writer to have like a bunch of lore, a bunch of this or that. When you're making, you know, translating that into a game becomes a problem because people want to get to the gameplay. But like nothing, none of that happens here. Like, yeah, I mean, you do have a bunch of unnecessary lore explaining a bunch of shit that we'll never really see or have any necessary understanding because the story is just like your heroes go fight the bad guy and like, yeah, it's the it's, black, it's, enemy's name is Black Knight. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's presented. A, it's such a basic thing. You don't need. Yeah. It doesn't need to take so long to get to this stuff. Yeah, it was crazy. I was like, let's just go fight. Like, I know I skipped out a lot, but and you were reading it, so you're, you know, you're, it's going a little slower than if you would just read on your, you know, in your mind. But it still took longer than it should have to get things going. So yeah. much of like, hey, go talk to this guy, and then he's like, hi, you talking to me? Let's get prepped for tomorrow. Are you ready? Are you sure? <laughs> And yeah. it's like, go talk to that guy after you you say you're ready. Like, okay, cool, you're ready. Go talk to that guy now. It's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that was incredible. I've never, I mean, unless that's part of the comedy of the game, is this <laughs> absurd, like, time wasting back and forth and shit. Yeah, it was bad. And then the story was super generic. And yeah, I'm thinking, like, I want to give this, I don't know, because of how much time it wasted and all the, and the lack of spell check, I want to give this a one. Damn, I oh. guess that's fair because I'm okay with a two, but like I wouldn't go higher than a two. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking one, just because there's no, like, what story would there even be to like? Yeah, you're fighting goblins and ogres. It would be a two if it didn't waste our time as much, I guess. That's all I was gonna say. Like, if it was the exact same story and it just, it's like, okay, this is a super basic story, but at least you get through it at a reasonable pace. Yeah, yeah. I'd be okay with it. And then it's just, it's just rip off like Samwise the Shire. Yeah, and that's you the know. problem. And that's the problem with being uh, based on a Dungeons and Dragons party, because I'm sure all your friends are being goofballs and ripping stuff off just to have fun. Yeah, but like you know, you don't make that into the actual game. Don't put that into well, a commercial game at least. Like, it's true, your paid game. Yeah, my D and D campaign was just full of like Street Fighter characters, but that I didn't make an RPG maker <laughs> game. You know what I mean? Like I just left it there. So yeah. A lot of the fun, a lot of a fun of a D and D campaign doesn't translate super well <laughs> into an RPG maker game because yes. you're basically taking, you know, you hanging out with your friends, and then removing to make a tight story. Yeah, yeah <laughs> removing the part where you where the person who's playing it is also hanging out with their friends and they're just reading like uh, a transcript <laughs> of like what happened during the night. It's like okay. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the D and D movie, the one that came out recently, that would, that got pretty good praise, Honor Among Thieves. The reason it was uh, one of the reasons people really liked it was because it was kind of emulating friends hanging out trying to play a game of D and D and and emulating how fall you know it falls apart. But that worked because that was kind of the point of it, right? It was very intentionally built to be a comedy movie, a fantasy movie based on things not going right right yeah like, i i watched that movie and i think that is a good example i definitely think a lot of people should because you should definitely watch that and because it does have it does have that feeling to it of what a D 
party is going through, but it's not like a literal exactly. translation of like what exactly. people do. It's like if this was professionally written, this is what it would be like. And even exactly. then, even though even then, even that has those elements, it still takes the time to have like a proper three act structure and like yes. you know be a movie <laughs> and not just like exactly. some weird meandering thing. Because you know D and D parties will be like let's you know there'll be some part that the dungeon master plans that takes five minutes but then they decide to talk to some random npc goblin for three hours <laughs> it's the funny it's the funniest thing it's <laughs> you're like okay i'll just decorate this room and then this is the door i want them to go through and then as you're describing the room they're like wait what's that black thing on the wall you're like oh god <laughs> they're like let's look at it and they're like let's cast spells on it it's like no it's just it's like some goblin spilled soup on the wall like, no don't don't cast the divination spells on it there's nothing there uh, <laughs> Yeah, so, but yeah, that's, that's but yeah, that's that's that's, that's the fun of yeah. goofing off with your friends. If you put that into a game, it might, it might get really frustrating as the constant back and forth that you're like stuck in as yep. as someone who's just trying to play the fucking game. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, it's 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 a, a thing that happens. But if you're gonna curate it into a experience that isn't hanging out with your friends. You need to make it. You need to like make it tight. Yeah. Not necessarily concise, but at least make it tight. Like, get rid of a lot of the the unnecessary frills, and you know, make it a strong experience. Make it a more focused experience. So, because you know, a lot of things, if they're done, a lot of bad things, if they're done right intentionally, can be good, right? And that's like that's that's parody, right? Yeah. That's, so that is fine. That, but when you're yeah, when you're just trying to like make this just porting it over not really thinking of rewriting it as a as a tight story and just kind of porting it over it's it's just it's not good yeah yeah so. and yeah we kept way making, too slow. i asked the question i always ask is this a, supposed to be a comedy game and it seems like the answer was yes but we didn't really see uh enough of that i kind of expected that that humor of you know a, a rp or a rpg maker a D, &D party screwing around doing stupid shit but not really it was mostly just like i mean i guess maybe i was supposed to talk to the people in the bar or something but like why why would why would the funniness of a DD party be constrained to like asides of rp like that's not my experience yeah it just felt like it had light parody elements and a little bit of a you know wink wink nudge nudge but that's it. And then it was only every, I don't know, it only felt like 5% of the total narrative was that, you know, wink, 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 nudge, nudge humor. And the rest of it was just generic fantasy. And you're kind of yeah. like, wait, so is this a comedy game? You know, so. Yeah. yeah, man. And the only person who really felt interesting was that damn oh, no. fish man. Yep. That was one joke I liked was his name is son of fishman and then his dad's name is father of son of fishman that was a pretty funny joke but that was the only thing i i thought was like pretty good everything else yeah. like you know sam I, wise slam g's whatever his name was ham wise and yeah man. i have to assume that the guy who played fish guy i mean he also seemed like he must have made a pretty min max character because he had all these he had so many fucking skills he was so useful <laughs> yeah maybe so yeah props the son of fishman's player for making a character that is fun to play as in a video game <laughs> yeah going hard in the paint that's so. interesting where's all these other curious, guys are just like though. i auto attack okay yeah seriously and, and there's almost no damage but yeah the premise on the the store page was uh it wasn't even that this was this i, I think i remember correctly. i don't want to go back i want to almost see if i remember it but it oh. was okay fine we're going back let's do it <laughs> see began as a small joke inspired okay so see so i wasn't sure if that first line was that they're making a campaign a joke campaign of their campaign or if they made a joke during their campaign and mm -hmm. then decided to make that joke a whole game you know what i mean yeah but you know i i remember i remember this was this is such a random story but i had this friend of a friend who was tr he's trying to become an actor and he did all his indie movies and it's funny because I don't think many people have done this, so maybe this is a kind of a call out. But he, it's such a small product, so no one knows about it. But there's like an episode of The Simpsons. You can put a clip on it, maybe. I don't know. But uh, it's where Homer talks to uh, 
the guy from Happy Days, the director. What the hell? The, the redhead. He's like a famous uh, director oh, now. Oh, Ron played... Howard? Ron Howard, thank you. I was going to say Ron Weasley, but he, I'm like, he looks he, like Ron Weasley, but it's not Ron Weasley. He didn't direct <laughs> Happy Days. He starred in it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, he's, he's, he started it, but is now a director. Oh, okay. Is what, I, is what I was trying to say. I don't know what I actually said, but that's what <laughs> I meant to say. Um, but I was like, I'm like, he... I'm like, he looks like Ron Weasley, but I know that's not his name. Anyway, point of it, yeah, Ron Howard. So um, I guess it's an episode of The Simpsons where Homer pitches an idea to Ron and he says, it's called The Terminizer, where he he travels back in time for some reason. And like his best friend's a, a talking pie or something, right? So his best friend's a talking pie. Sold. Howard, you've done it again. Anyway, that's the point being is that this friend of a friend decided to use that off joke and tried to make a short film out of it and went around Comic-Con with a po you know, with, with this main actor dressed up as the Terminizer and like walked around with ads and stuff. And, you know, I, I don't think the project ever got off the ground and it was mad cringe. And so and whenever I'm, I'm think of these, like, Oh, this started as a, you know, it's almost like a, a game jam game getting turned into a full game. It's like this small little thing we're working on. We're going to try to make a full scale project out of it. It's like, eh, I, don't know if it's always <laughs> the best. You know, I don't think it's ever. I mean, I don't want to say it's never a good idea. I'm sure some good games have come from that. But yeah, I always I always get triggered a little bit by that. <laughs> so I think that's the right word, I guess. Triggered. But yeah, don't make a giant project off of a one sentence joke. Yeah, um, exactly. But yeah, the game definitely kind of reminded me of Dungeons and Dragons quest flow, but like very railroaded at least. Where it's just yeah. like, but you know, the way that that's meant to be is it's meant for you to fill in the blanks for like exactly. RP and stuff. That's why it's hanging so out with simple. your friends, and that's why it's that's why it's fun in D and D. Yeah, because the the failure is while well, I'm hanging out with my friends and cracking jokes. In so, this, yeah. it's just boring. You're like walking around and just mashing, you know, confirm. <laughs> yeah. So that's yeah. kind of like, that's the easy one, right? That's the easy advice. It's like, there's so much fat to trim and just have, yeah. you know, like a story where you have to defeat the, the evil bad guy just because he's evil. Like, we don't need anything to explain that. Like, you can completely yeah. cut all of that out and just focus on funny interactions with between the party members and how they accomplish their goals. Like, that's the D&D feeling you should be focused on, not, like, so much fucking back-and-forth dialogue about, okay, tomorrow we're gonna do the thing, we're gonna do it tomorrow. We're gonna go. This guy to be ready for tomorrow. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, I could, yeah it's, the dialogue was just so, it just progressed so, so. Anyway, so. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I think a one is fair. Yeah. Yeah. Audio. Uh, is this going to be? I don't know. Two or one? Because it's just, so I know it's just RTP. A lot of genre, right? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, but I was going to say you have some pretty good music. All right. So I guess music I'll say boosted. Something good for that. I'm sure it was probably stock, but he said he grabbed it from what free RPG make, which is not necessarily the worst thing in the world. Yeah. You want to do, yeah, the RTP, I want to, don't want to go too high, but I will give a little credit for the music. Just, even yeah. just adventuring out and getting, you know, custom, you know, not custom, you know what I mean, though, like, so like someone else made it. Yeah, you know, like 2.5 or something? I don't know. Uh, I was like, three at most. Like, do I want to give it, do I want to give an extra half point? No, RTP. Too yeah. Much RTP. Yeah, 2.5. 2.5. There wasn't really anything to be exciting about the, yeah. that. So visuals, uh, we had our big, our big gimmick of the 3D mod finally. How much did that help the visuals? Ah, that's the that's. It. I will say uh, the the castle, like when you're not inside the building in the castle, but when you're in the castle walls part, when it had the lighting, when it had 3D view, it had the lighting, the fires, like the torches and stuff. Super, super homely. I loved that area. I was like, man, I would grab a cot and sleep in that courtyard. <laughs> I'm I'm a total sucker for like homely outdoor areas. Like I that's what I did. And when I played Minecraft, I would just build these like homely outdoor areas. <laughs> uh, I just I'm a sucker for that. So I really liked that. Um, otherwise, 
I liked it. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty good. Yeah. So. Yeah. Let's I guess. See. I guess we'll talk yeah, about this when we come to mapping. But I kind of feel like it's one of those mods that's like the cost is higher than the value. Um, but I mean, I guess if it gets people to pay attention to your game, then it's worth it. Yeah. Uh, in terms of what it actually does for the game, I'm kind of like. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess there was some kind of a little bit of use. I like the uh, the way the tress, chests and stuff were hidden using the 3D yes. elements. That was kind of cool. It's just um, unfortunate. Everything else was RTP. Yeah. Oh, that hurts because I want to give it a good score based on 3D, but it's, I almost want to not because of art. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to be like, well. So the rest of the RTP was fine. It's like, no, the rest of the RTP, using the RTP for, you know, the the, the basic font, yeah. uh, the, the the autogen faces, and all, oh, disgusting. I yeah. can't stand it. So this is a tough one, because I really do like, I did like the 3D, but hmm. all that RTP was so bad. Yeah, I mean, I was probably leaning towards like a 3 or something, I don't know. Let's see... Yeah, I'm uh three or three point five, I think. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm I'm looking at the other ones like Dungeon Rummage, Origin Hunt, Albion Hunt, Hunter. They used all RTP, right? Dungeon Rummage had custom art. Oh, uh, that's right. Albino Hunter. Oh yeah. I went out. That one had the. Uh, yeah. How do we? Oh, do? it had it had a it had like a transformation guy. I think that was something new. And then Origin Hunt was the one where. It had two versions of the game, right? Uh, like one was RPG Maker, one was VX Ace, or whatever. One was no, MD that was Albino Hunter. Oh, okay. Why not? Why is Albino Albino Hunter a four? I guess because I had some custom art. That's what I was guessing. Man, we're like, <laughs> I'm like trying to go back. <laughs> Being so generous. Look at this. This is back I know. before our What's heel wrong turn. With this? When we got really sick of it. <laughs> Man, that's a tough one for this. Then I feel so weird because I yeah. I'm gonna say, yeah, using all that RTP, even for, especially for like the menus too and the font, it's like I can't give it a great score. Ah, oh, man, I wanna give it, ah, uh, 3.5, oh man, 3.5 or 4. Uh, I'm gonna say 3.5 then. And, all right, let's do it. Yeah, I think, punish I RTP think, usage. I think 4 yeah. is, I, I'm just so, I'm just pretty like not impressed with the 3D mod, I guess. Kind of like yeah, that. I want to say I don't, I don't, I don't want to oversell it. I did like that, but it was mostly that homely castle part. Once we got out of the castle, I was like, eh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and then just the excessive use of RTP. Yeah, we should punish it a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit so. All right. Uh, mapping. I might give the old RPG Maker two for this again. Uh, uh, maybe maybe it see. deserves a little bit more for. The treasure uh, chest stuff, right? Yeah, the 3D. 3D did help the mapping a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it helped it in the ad. It hurt it because I'm sure he had to limit his map size due to that. Is Chrono Trigger? Yes. Yes. Okay. I was like, I, I'm pretty sure you'll get this one because it's yeah. a famous title. <laughs> okay. So mapping. Uh, yeah, I'll give it. I want. I want to give it a little higher just because the 3D did add some to it. The towns were kind of boring, but you know, whatever. I think. I guess that the homeliness feel. I'm like, does that count as mapping? Because <laughs> uh, that's hard mapping. Yeah. yeah, I'm willing to go a little bit higher. Just places because. look like places. That's usually something I yeah. like to like to give points for. Uh, you know, I want to give this a little bit high because I think this is a bit of the good 3D. But I will give this a four. Four. Wow. Yeah. Up as high as single malt apocalypse. I was thinking uh, single uh, malt use the custom art. Yeah, if you want to do three point five or three. I'll do but, 7 5 because... Right. I mean, I guess it did have an exploration aspect, which was nice. Um, yeah, yeah. It, did, it did seem like they knew how to use the mod pretty well, pretty reasonably well, so... Yeah. Um, there wasn't glaring collision issues or anything. This uh, is true. Technical. You're, you have some problems with the technical here. 
You know, I can't remember what it was. Spelling errors. <laughs> yeah, was that is that under technical? I guess. Uh. Yeah, I usually talk about it during technical. Like, oh, yeah, that uh, was pretty bad. And performance <laughs> hits because of the 3D mod. Um, yeah, you felt it more than me. I think I couldn't see it that well. But you, I, I have to trust your judgment on it. I, you know, I believe you. So, like, yeah. I, I mean, there's I, nothing, I'll let your judgment on it. There's nothing he could do, they could do about it, unfortunately, because, you know, I'm sure they're not a programmer or anything. They're not going to somehow yeah. fix this plugin to properly use the... Uh, power of uh, the graphics card I have because I'm sure it's all software rendering and it sucks. Uh, <laughs> oh, or, yeah. Or it's like just horribly inefficient, however, it's built. Um, uh, I what, what I wanted to name, mention, remember, uh, TP is not used. Oh, yeah, there's that. And the uh, name of Son of Fishman's cut off. So uh, it's just like. It's not necessarily it's a huge deal, but again, it's it's that whole you know if you're not gonna put effort into your game, why the hell should I care? Yeah. So that just it just gives off that vibe. So, and then you mentioned that well, I guess you figured out the F thing, so that wasn't a problem. Yeah, that but... wasn't his fault. That was, uh, I guess I sh I should take the opportunity to explain what that is. I was using the controller this time, so I didn't realize that the fo window didn't have focus because this is just kind of like. A thing that controllers can do they can still control <laughs> the game even though it's not properly uh the focus of windows uh so yes. i didn't realize that's so the keyboard does need <laughs> the game to be in focus <laughs> to work yes so that's why that happened uh all right so that wasn't there but yeah so the, t the tp thing like come on come on after your night <laughs> game, like take out tv if you don't use tp yeah. um they're sloppy. And then, yeah, spelling errors. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, the game was super generic in terms of, like, nothing ventured, nothing game outside of the 3D mod, right? So. Yeah. It's good that you took the time to learn a 3D mod, but there's definitely a lot of stuff that I'm like, I feel like you should be figuring out how to do more stuff in RPG Maker by this point. I mean, I guess a lot of his games were VX Ace and not MV, but I mean, are they really that different? Is there that much more to learn? I think. I guess the thing I'm thinking in terms of like game design is like you should be like learning like how to better control flow and how to better set up scenes and stuff. Um, yeah. And how to do more, how to do more things, how to make stuff out of the tool. Um, Cause it's not necessarily the tool that this knowledge comes from. You just kind of learn from how to like, how to do shit. Yeah, it's definitely that vibe of if you just keep making games and they're all... Like, I mean, we haven't played the previous game, so we don't know how much better these have gotten, but it's obviously not that much better because this game is so meh, so... Yeah. It's like, if you just keep pumping out these games, my assumption is they're not selling well. I could be wrong, but it's just kind of like, you know, the point uh, of when you work on a craft is just to get better at it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I don't feel like they're getting much better at this. Yeah, I guess all of these are free, though, it looks like. So, um, yeah, I guess the first soul game, then? the first game that they charge money for. That's what I thought was the case, but uh, oh. I guess we'll get to that oh. when we talk about value. Oh, yeah, the value. So technical. Now, yes, using the 3D model or using the 3D mod, um, and then all those issues. I'm going to say a two then. Yeah. Because it's, it's it's nothing venture, nothing gained outside of the 3D mod, and then on top of that, TP still in, yada yada yada. Yeah. So it's like I would give it a one, but then the 3D mod I'll give you a point. So. Give it two. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that's fair. I might. Eh. Nah. I don't know what to say to defend him. I got I got the heel turn going, so I'm just gonna leave right. that. Uh, <laughs> Even though we uh, always were, always were. You you're a heel now. Always <laughs> <laughs> Even more of a heel. Even more. <laughs> it's the guy behind that guy with a gun shooting at us. <laughs> Too many evil people. <laughs> Too many heels. All right. All right. Value. I'm gonna. I don't feel this game is even close to worth five dollars. No. Um. I think we're still. I mean, if. <sighs> yeah. No. I. I feel like we're still firmly in like sharing gameplay, especially when you choose the make something that's about like you playing D&D &D with your friends like that definitely has gives it that feeling of like 
hey, I'm just gonna share this, like, for free with people. It doesn't feel like a super, like, an invested, serious project, I guess. Uh, yeah. But, like, you know, maybe if you fixed, uh, you know, the story, not wasting our time, and then the problems we have with, like, the combat, which I guess you could argue is Dungeons and Dragons' fault, but I do not agree with that. I think you, you've you already, like, chosen how to fix certain things with Dungeons and Dragons to translate it. You know, you could take more liberties. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Take, take what is useful, discard what is not, whatever Bruce Lee said, but... Yeah, like for story, right? Yeah, like when you're when you're porting it over, you can't just. I mean, he obviously didn't do it one, or they didn't obviously do it one to one. But you know, there's a reason when you switch mediums, you have to change things. You know, it's just you can't the drastically sometimes. You know, that's just all there is to it. So yeah. Uh, so right. for me, the value is <laughs> zero. I don't know. I would yes. Yeah, Man, yeah, it's all those issues. This, this doesn't feel like a, uh, a ready-to-release game. Yeah, because the suggested price is free, right? Like, yes. that's my, that's where my head's at. My only my only thing is like the 3D mod, but yeah, it's like that 3D mod is carrying this so hard for, in my <laughs> head, and I know it is. So I'm like trying not to let it poison my thought process. I could give uh, it a one, I guess, for value. I don't know. It's a six to twenty hour game supposedly, and. You know, it didn't seem like it was. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, as yeah, I say, I'm down, it... for, I'm down for a one. I think a zero is too harsh. Like it's not as bad as like Ballad of Rattle. So. Yeah. Um, I was like free. I was like, I most also think one dollar, but I'm like, why would I even suggest that? No, it's free. It should be free. So. Yeah. All right. Ben. Uh, uh, All right. Uh, so what is our impressions of the game, huh? Overall. Oops. I don't know why I'm pausing. Uh, no, no. Alright, I will probably do 3D mod carrying it. And if I play, I would have just, you know, mashed X to all the dialogue, which is not good, but it would have at least, you know, skipped all that made the game on the move a lot a little faster. Yeah. Um, so, man, that 3D mod. If there was no 3D mod, this 100% would have been Fs in the Fs. <laughs> I'm like debating of going up a little bit just because the 3D mod. Uh, uh, you know, I do feel though, just on that model. Actually, let's see. I don't know. What do you think? I have an idea right now, but I'm 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 still gonna think about it a little bit. Oh man, uh, I think I'm I might be. I think I might be in the F area, to be honest. Sure. Uh, I was I like not, thinking back I, yeah. on. Dime a dozen, and I'm like, you know, there are certain inklings I had about the story, which, you know, there's not, that's not in this, because it's just, we're just gonna fight the bad guy, like, there's nothing for me to look forward to in this game. There's not even leveling, it seems like, I don't know, if there is. There is, but it's, it's D&D &D experience, which is, takes forever to fucking level. Mm. You get level once, you know... Like hitting hitting a level in D and D is gigantic. You double your HP in the <laughs> whatever you, you know. You, the first level you get, you double your HP. Yeah, so but like, it takes forever. To level. Like you get to do so much when you level in D and D though, which I doubt this. I guess. Yeah, I exactly. Maybe this look game at those might menus have... again, but I don't think that there's gonna there's not gonna be like perks and it's not gonna be like spells memorization or whatever you call it for spellcasters where you get to pick your spells from a Agreed. gigantic list. I... I have a feeling that it has the time of D and D, but it has the the features of, of a JRPG, which is not a good mix because yeah. the reason you get so little in a JRPG is because you level so often. Yeah. So you can't say the speed of D and D leveling and then the perks of JRPG. That's just stupid. You're taking the worst of both worlds. <laughs> the worst of both worlds together. So, and I assume that's what's going to happen because if they're using RTP and everything else is so basic, why the hell would leveling not be basic? Yeah. So, um, and also other games, at least I think they had custom art, even if it was bad art, right? Like Cream Soda and uh, yeah. Single Malt Apocalypse. So this game, I don't even know if the the was the three uh, mod was a three D art, uh, like quote unquote RTP. Like, is there an RTP three D art, or was it imported from somewhere? Uh, 
It's just using like, it's just using the tiles of RPG. Oh, Maker. okay. And then just adds collision, adds like a cube of collision. Yeah, it just, it just textures it onto the sides of the walls. It's the same tiles oh. in the RTP. Well then, <laughs> yeah. Uh, man. Yeah, I don't know if this gets out of F for me then. In that case. Yeah. I'm thinking of all the dialogue, all the issues. Yeah, F it. I'm giving it F plus plus. F plus plus. Hey, it beat dime yeah. a dozen though. It did. I will put it above that, but. Uh. Because it is Man. a more you know more complete game, but more complete. Oh, because it's so. it's a full game, right? Like twenty hours on. I mean, we didn't get, but you know, we we were, but I kind of going off of what he's saying or what they're saying about the game, and and then uh, those. I mean, three D mod. Eh, yeah, it's kind of you know maybe it wasn't the most uh, expressive use of it, but it was. I still you know I give a little bit of credit, and then otherwise it's just a very generic game. So. Yeah. Man. I don't know if I'm in a bad mood or something, but I'm just thinking about giving it a flat F, because <laughs> my experience, I felt, was in some ways worse than Dime a Dozen, I guess. I don't know. I still think about Dime a Dozen now, because there's things it was trying to do. Yeah, and at least the story progressed decently at a reasonable pace, right? Yeah, and there's yeah, it wasn't well written, but it was like I don't know. I felt like something was trying to happen, but like, or there's ideas trying to be formulated awkwardly. But this is just like super generic. It's just you gotta fight yeah. the bad guy. Okay, now talk to me. Okay, now talk to him. Okay, now walk over here. Okay, now talk to me. Okay, we're gonna do it tomorrow. We're gonna do it tomorrow. You ready? We're gonna do it tomorrow. And it's like fucking what? You're not wrong. And then, to, to, like, intros, long intros, long dialogues, and then a scrolling text, and then another scrolling text? Yeah. It's like madness. It's so, it's, yeah, okay. that's true. <laughs> Guess this one. <laughs> F, F minus plus. <laughs> oh, no, I meant the music. It's uh, okay. a Power oh. Rangers game, and it's just, like, the main theme. Oh, it's, yeah, it's just a change. <laughs> um... So I think I'm going to, I don't know, I think I'm going to stay with F. That's how I feel. I'm f full heel turn now. Look at that. All right. It's yeah, I was going to say, the last few games you've actually given, I've been more generous than you. Yeah, well, you kind of do it with the uh, the big games. You always have more respect Like the for real. Them. Yeah. That's true. But when it comes, I think this might go, be. Go, <laughs> 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 Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! Thrown. I love it. This music is throwing off our focus, but yeah. I love it. It adds more character. It makes it like a D and D session. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah, I'm surprised right. I've been able to keep my train of thought because there's been times that I've been talking <laughs> and I've been listening to the <laughs> music. Listening to the music, yeah. And and somehow, I, somehow I kept going. Somehow I powered through it. You did it. Um. All right. Yeah, I think I'll stay with that. Uh. Because, I don't know, that's just... Well, I'm like, hesitant when at I, when F++ I, plus now. When I get frustrated with a game, that's when I start, like... <laughs> that's when I start that's doing true. these things. Because the funny thing is, score-wise, this is better average than Dime a Dozen. So it's kind of funny. I mean, scored it... Well, I scored it higher. I, I made it make sense, but... Yeah, yeah I made it make ours... no sense, but... <laughs> All right, I'll keep my... <laughs> That that three D mod man, <laughs> that that is what's giving this a plus plus. Yeah. All right. Uh, notes. Uh, horrible story pace. It was a car I was like, carried by three D mod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's all there is. Um. All right. Yeah. Horrible story pacing. Yeah, it's funny because I think about like. Uh, Origin Hunt? Is that what that game's called? Yeah, Origin Hunt. I remember that game being one of those games where it's, or one of those things where it's like so much backstory, so much lore all the time. But like, yeah. at least like they would progress and like learn new things. It wasn't just like <laughs> it was just like, it, it was just the crime of being a massive exposition dump. It wasn't like 
okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it tomorrow. We're gonna go. It's, like true. it's, it's crazy that we have so much time spent on this, but <laughs> so little that happened. Yeah, it was. I definitely. I was like, I couldn't pinpoint it at first exactly why it felt that way. But that's. And then I think we started discussing. It. That's a hundred percent what it was. It's just like we keep saying the same thing for three. You know, three different people say the same, talk about the same thing that. And then a lot of it because the story was so generic, you actually could tell what was going to happen next. So you're. So it made it even feel more redundant because you knew what was going to happen next, just because it's so predictable. And so you have to now listen to three people tell you about the thing that you know is going to happen. <laughs> it's like, oh my god! Just and then you know you want to read it for the the show, so you're like reading it, and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> it's made it so you know so slow. So um, yeah, you know, and also about our rating system. Sometimes it's, is you know sometimes you're going to rate differently based on the time of day or the, the not the time of day, the the time you do it. You know, it's just that's just expected, right? That's just that's normal. That's I remember, I think, one of my old teachers at my college, and uh, some for some situation, he got in a, in a situation where he would grade the same paper twice. I can't remember. It was part of the class, though. It wasn't like, oh, I just turned the same paper in. Um, it was it was some it was a psychology class, so I think it was part of some experiment. But he would sometimes grade the same paper uh, differently, just because at the time he was reading it, he just had a different opinion. So I'm like, mm, all right, yeah. I guess that's just how it be. So. That's just how it be. Victim of timing and circumstance. Sometimes. Just like everything else. You turn heel and then you turn heel again. I mean, I guess that's why that's, <laughs> that is kind of a funny talking about how you feel at a moment. I always think about how funny it is with wrestlers when they're like a face. They'll come out and be like, hey guys, welcome. I'm so happy to be here in Cleveland. Oh man, I love you guys. My fans are who gives me power. And then they turn heel and they're like, you guys are stupid. Your hometown sucks. Like, what happened? <laughs> what is... Why, why is like this now? <laughs> where is our, where our hero guy? <laughs> why is he such a jerk? <laughs> why would he change his opinion about such a thing? That makes no sense. Damn. Damn it, writing wrestlers. <laughs> wow. All right. All right. Uh, anyway, I think I think we're good. Yeah, I think that's all we need. Right yeah, I think that one. I think we're good. Otherwise, we'll start repeating ourselves like this game was repeating yes. itself. Indeed. So, uh, I guess we'll see you guys next time. And uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll think about this music if it's too much of a distraction. <laughs> maybe I need to turn it down <laughs> some more. <laughs> maybe we'll think about. It. Maybe it'll be fun for people in the audience to be like, "Oh, I know that I game." I hope so. <laughs> this is fun for me. <laughs> so. No All right. warriors. Yeah. All right. See you guys next time. <laughs>